All right, there we go. How's everybody doing today? Can everybody hear me all right? Uh, please let me know in the comments. We had some technical difficulties from our stream earlier where the cameras had a heart attack and we had to essentially resuscitate them and, and shoot them with some voltage. So hopefully they'll, they'll all be good now. Um, I see Kurt and Melissa, how's it going guys? Um, just make sure you guys can hear me okay over there. Um, we don't know if uh, we wanna make sure everything's going all right. We're gonna go pink today. Here we go. All right, everybody hears. All right, cool. All right, so just to let you guys know, uh, we do have quite a bit of lots for you guys tonight. Um, Sarah, how many lots do we have today? No, 46. I told you guys we were we were adding more and more as we kept on going on. So we have 46 lots for you guys today. Um, we have at least about around half of those are going to be Star Wars lots because we do have May the 4th coming up right around the corner on Monday. Um, so we've got a lot of really cool things for you guys tonight. We've got custom figures, we've got dinosaurs, we've got used sets, certified sets, new in box sets, um, and collectible minifig series, all sorts of different stuff coming up. Um, so tonight we're going to start you guys off with a bunch of our minifigs, and uh, we have some small little animal collections as well. Um, we're going to move through some of our certified sets. Then eventually we're going to hit some of our new in box sets as well as our new in box Star Wars sets. Then we're going to move into our certified Star Wars sets. And then finally at the end is going to be our Star Wars minifig lots. I believe we have seven um, Star Wars lots of minifigs for you available uh, at the end of the stream. So um, it's going to be a little, it's kind of formatted a little differently. We're going to do minifigs at the beginning and the end. Um, but we want to make sure that you have a choice to pick up some sets first for Star Wars. And then you can add on the minifigs and stuff afterwards if you want. Instead of the other way around. Because we want you to be able to get some of the cool sets first before getting the... Uh, the um, minifigs for you. Um, the other side of the thing is, um, this stream is not going to have any Duplo in it. I do apologize that we don't have any Duplo sets for you guys. We don't have many in the store, and we kind of showed off a lot already. Um, but for those looking for Duplo, we are getting, um, I think, two or three more sets in on Friday. Some of them did get canceled um, because LEGO is having a shortage right now um, from their plants. So we are hoping to still get some of those Duplo sets in pretty soon, um, but uh, we're, we're, we're working on it. Um, so our first ones we're going to get started with here today is going to be our custom Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock. Um, let me get these guys pulled up here for you. Do, 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 do. There we go. There they are. It's lot number one. Um, and this lot is um, two custom minifigs. They are all these custom figs that we're showing you are 100% um, Lego figures. So you do not have to worry about the parts, but they are all custom printed. Um, of course, I'm going to get a nice zoom in here. So it's kind of funny that we're starting this with Star Trek and ending this with Star Wars today. So it's kind of a kind of a funny situation we got going on. Um, so again, this is lot number one. Let me see here. Da, 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 da. Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock for thirty-five dollars. Um, like I said, these are all custom pad printed, um, good quality printing, and custom uh, faces and um, regular Lego hair. Um, this lot uh, we is imported in from Ireland and England um, from one of our vendors. Um, and like I said, these are 100% genuine um, parts, Lego parts, um, normally marked at uh, $45. These guys can be yours today for $35. Yay! $35? Holy cow. Yep, $35. Two custom Star Trek figs. Um, and, of course, they do have the little custom uh, blasters as well as the little tricorders on their belts. Those are all custom printed as well. Um, and the, the video here doesn't show it justice. If you look in Spock's um, tunic there, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit closer. If I can. Oh, I can't get any closer with it right now. Um, it's got a little um, pattern on there as well. Kirk has it on his too, but you can't see the yellow and the dark yellow with, with how his uh, skin color looks right now. So, um, but some really cool figs, really awesome. Uh, again, that's, that's lot number one for 35 bucks. If you guys have any questions at all about those, please let me know. All right. Uh, looking for girls, friends, minifigs. We do not have any friends, minifigs uh, this time. We do have a couple sets from friends, uh, Tiffany. Um, you were asking, but we do not have any friends minifigs this time. Um, we will see about trying to add those on to our next one. Um, but we were trying to get a lot of the other um, stuff out that we haven't had at all yet um, so that people can kind of get a good look at them. Um, next up here is going to be our um, seven-piece Power Ranger lot. Dave, can you take the yellow tile off that real quick? 
Oh, my bad. There we go. All right. So next up is our seven piece Power Ranger lot. This is our seven uh, seven figures. Of course, these are the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger custom figs. Um, so you get all six or all five of the originals with both of Tommy's figures, which is the Green Ranger originally, followed by the White Tiger. Uh, <laughs> White Tiger <laughs> Power Ranger. Um, so these guys are normally valued at $100 for the lot. Um, they can be yours today for 80 bucks. So, of course, we've got Trini on the left in yellow, Kimberly in green, Tommy, or T Kimberly in the pink. Sorry, I was looking at the green. Um, we've got Tommy's uh, Green Ranger and White Ranger, Jason's Red Ranger, Billy's Blue Ranger, and Zach's Black Ranger on the far right. And yes, Dave thinks i don't know my power rangers i love my power rangers my old school power rangers um this is a really low cool key, lot low key i forgot some of the names not a problem tiffany we could do that for you um so yes so these guys again are all custom printed 100 percent for 100 percent authentic lego parts um so the quality and everything is there um of course these are just custom printed um and a lot of these are brought to you by minifigs.me and our currently retired and not available anymore um so that's gonna be our power so ranger lot rare? they are rare uh they're about two years old they did they had them available for about three months and then they were gone um so then uh so we've got about a few more lots of our customs here um and i think a few of you are going to like this one if you guys like uh funny adult humor uh cartoons uh this is gonna be our lot number three lot number three <laughs> Sorry, I gotta I gotta crack the whip with my team over here sometimes. Well, I don't want Chris to trip over the wires. Yep, I gotcha. Okay, so lot number three here is going to be Mr. Rick and Morty over here. So these are of course uh on the I believe the Fox Network still. Um so you've got little Rick and then Crazy Morty. Um and uh he's got a nice little bottle and his ray gun there with the crazy faces. I don't remember if they're two double-sided faces or not um but again using authentic genuine lego hair um and lego parts of course with the custom printed bottle and then the custom printed outfits for these figs these guys are also normally priced at 45 marked down to 35 so that's lot number three for 35 dollars it's our rick and morty figures if you have any questions about those you may let us know and we will get those answered for you all right, that's lot number three. We're going to move on to lot number four here. Get started. I'm, going to let them, I'm trying to change over to me so I can do a little changeover so you don't have to look at their, their behinds and stuff like that. And then get this lined up here. Okay. So next up is going to be our custom Defenders lot. Um, this is going to be Iron Fist, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage with custom backgrounds. Um, Dave, I don't know if you want to you move uh, Daredevil and Iron Fist out of the way so they can see what the background looks like. And they are just uh, Lego panels, so you can check those out as well. So they have, of course, their, their custom logo, their, their, some of their big hit lines from the shows. Um, again, these are from the um, Marvel Netflix series um, figs. Of course, once again, all Lego parts, just custom printed. As when Dave sticks on, hey Dave, why don't you why don't you just grab uh, Daredevil the, the way he is and and lift him up and see if the whole panel comes with him. Show him the clutch power there. No, no, just lift the whole the whole thing up. Just grab him by his head and pick it up. There you go. See, it's Lego for you. Picks the whole thing up. <laughs> it's gone. All right, so that's our Lego Defenders. Cool. Normally priced at seventy five dollars, as you can see on the tile right there. Marked down to sixty bucks um, because it does come with the two custom panels in the back as well. All right. Next up is going to be our lot number five coming up right at you here. These guys are going to be more for the adults. I don't know if many of the younger folks have seen this movie, this version of this movie yet before. Um, but this is going to be our lot of two for our Tron figures. These are the original Tron, not the remake. Um, this is Tron and Flynn. Um, as they're going through all of the um, the things there, of course, um, Tron right now. I believe it's Tron's got his uh, evil. Alpha. Actually, I think it's. I did the back. I think that's Tron and um, 
uh, the computer. I can't remember what his name is called. Now I'm going to have to rewatch Tron again. Um, but this is from the original Tron movie, which is why they're gray. And of course, he's got his blue outfit for the good and the red for the bad. Uh, but they did, of course, use their, that as their disguise throughout the movie as well. So um, these, once again, are also Lego genuine parts, just reprinted um, for your needs. And then they found these awesome metallic helmets based off of the pilot helmets um, to go with them to create that final look. Okay. Cool. Kind of thought they were Doctor Who figures. <laughs> no, no, they're not Doctor Who figures, but close. All right. Um, Dave, you got that backwards. What? We're on lot number six. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Dave's jumping the gun here, guys. Okay, and this one I'm going to have to zoom out. So this is actually a really cool, unique set uh, that we have for you here. Uh, Dave, try to see if you can pull it over to the right still. There you go. That works. Okay, here we go. All right. So this one here is for our Ninjago fans. This is going to be our Ninjago Collectible Minifigs Complete Series. Um, this lot normally sells for $150 plus the case, which is usually another two, additional $25. But this is the entire complete lot of collectible minifig series for the Ninjago movie, um, which is, all comes with you with the case. And we're just going to scroll along here just so you guys can check them all out. They're all 100% complete with their accessories and their hair. If they had special hairs. And then I believe there are 22 minifigs in this lot. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's 22. No, it's Let's see, 22. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. There's 20 figs in the lot. Sorry, my bad. And of course, the most popular is that bottom left there, which is the um, J-pop girl, which I think is actually funny because she's wearing a Unikitty shirt. So that's pretty funny. And then, of course, you have the Batman fan on the other side, the scientist wearing her Batman shirt as well. So this lot is for 20 minifigures for $100 with the case. So, of course, basically you're getting every figure for 5 bucks in the case for free. And it does open. Uh, it is just a uh, polyacrylic top, which Dave's going to show you off right here. So ta-da! And then that background can actually be interchanged as well if you want to use this background for other figures. Like, for instance, if you decide to collect a bunch of Star Wars figures, you can create your own uh, printable cardboard you know, space scape in the back and put those on there as well. Um, and then if you really wanted to, you could possibly paint the sand green color into a black and, and kind of make it more Star Wars related. Um, so nice little um, set there for our collectible Ninjago minifig series. If you would, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to tell you guys no. <laughs> if you'd like to claim any of these sets, make sure you type in I claim set number blank for blank dollars. Make sure you guys fill those in. Um, I'm going to keep that scrolling on the bottom there for you as well so you guys can make sure you guys claim any of those. Do we sell this case separately? Negative. This is the only case we have. It is specifically for this series. Um, it, we only are only selling it with those minifigs. So you get all of it for, at one time. We don't want to short anybody of F8 or anything. Okay. So and that's going to bring us up to our number seven, our lot number seven here. Um, this is for pretty much anybody who likes superheroes and flying around. Um, they're cute. They're bubbly. They've got a, a little bit of an attitude, you know, depending on, uh, on when you're doing it. Um, let me see. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Boom. There's our lot number seven, the Powerpuff Girls. So, of course, we've got our good old friends, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. And, of course, you can tell who's got the attitude. <laughs> um, so these Powerpuff Girls were part of a very limited run of sets, as well as the, um, the LEGO Dimensions video game. Um, I do believe one of the figs, I want to say it was Buttercup, has a slightly different version for the video game. Um, but otherwise, they are all identical. Um, and this Bubbles also comes with her little stuffed animal uh, octopus there as well. So kind of cute little set. Um, you can get all three of these. Normally, they're priced up at uh, $24. 
They are six dollars off today for a whopping eighteen dollars gets you all three mm -hmm. of those cute little Powerpuff Girls. Um, you know, of course, until the professor mm -hmm. finds out and hunts you down. So those Powerpuff Girls can be yours for eighteen bucks if your claim is accurate. Just make sure you type in "I claim set number" in this case, lot number. Or, yeah, it should be lot number, not set number. Uh, lot number seven for eighteen dollars. All right. I'm going to fix that real quick. So let me change this. This should be set a lot number. There we go. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Lot number. I don't know how that got changed. So next up is going to be uh, some more for our, more of our vintage fans. This is going to be our lot number eight. Does this work? Yep. Our classic space figs. Space ship. Um, so this one is absent of our blue minifig. Um, of course, it came in all five colors, and there was also a green one that came as part of the Ideas exosuit. Um, but we get, went ahead and found our four best of our each of our colors here. So we've got our classic white, classic yellow, classic black, and classic red um, with their helmets. And do be careful because they do crack easily, as we all know if, if you're uh, an older person at home. Um, Dave, you want to go ahead and turn flip those around backwards too so they can check out the backs? They all do come with their matching jetpacks as well. Thank you, sir. Um, and like we said, we found the best prints for all of them. Um, so they're, they're not faded away. They're not scuffed. You got some really good looking figs there. Of course, all with their stock smiling face look, um, which has been a staple in Lego since they started way back when. So this is lot number eight for $28. Normally this lot is, uh, I think it's 30, $36 for this lot. So it's $8 off today if you get this lot of four of our classic space figures. Okay. That was lot number eight going on to lot number nine. As Dave gets that set up, I'm going to go ahead and get it posted here. This, these next, uh, next three are going to be more for our dinosaur friends. If you are a fan of dinosaurs, you are going to want to see these. Um, we got some really cool ones coming your way here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Oops, gotta zoom out. All right. So this is gonna be our lot number nine, our small dinosaur lot. So we've got two Velociraptors and a Dilophosaurus um, hanging out here. You get these awesome figures. Um, all brand new, pretty much uh, in good standing, uh, good positions, and everything else. Normally priced at forty-five bucks, you get these three dinosaurs for thirty-eight dollars. And of course, both all three dinosaurs have a lower lobal jaw that can close as well um, to uh, show when they're not hissing or, or growling at somebody. Because of course, we know how those dinosaurs are. As Dave is showing off right there. Um, and then Dave, you want to turn the Dilophosaurus' uh, head the other way just a little bit, just so it. Uh, oh, there you go. So you guys can check it out, what it looks like with its crest. Um, so these dinosaurs are really awesome, part of the Jurassic World line um, and Jurassic Park line. Um, just uh, something to kind of add on um, for your, your dinosaurs at home. And these are, again, authentic Lego dinosaurs. These are not those Chinese knockoffs. Um, so, of course, they are going to be a little bit more pricey. All right, so that's lot number nine. It's our small dinosaurs for 38 bucks. Dave's going to set up for something a little bigger a little bit bigger um of course you know whenever you have some small dinosaurs you've got to have some big dinosaurs too right so who doesn't want the king of all dinosaurs uh, that's a good picture too i like that here he is for you the good old tyrannosaurus rex Rawr. um this t-rex normally valued at 50 dollars uh is part of the newer jurassic world line um this is the lighter of the two tyrannosaurus rexes um, normally valued, like you said, at $50. Um, has great arms. There's nothing loose about him at all. His jaw also opens and closes just like the small dinosaurs do. Um, and the tail does also turn if you want it to or in, in down or sideways. Of course, the print won't match up. Um, and then could also be interchanged with other dinosaurs, dinosaur parts. If you are one of those crazy geneticist doctors uh, on the park, you can get all crazy with these and the Indoraptor and stuff like that too. So this is our lot number 10, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, for $35. All right. Next up is going to be another one of our crazy big dinosaurs. You might know him. Uh, I know I know him. He is one of the, the most expensive uh, Lego dinosaurs out there for Jurassic World and uh, is definitely a contender 
against our lovely Tyrannosaurus Rex. Of course, I'm talking about Indominus Rex. So this dinosaur normally retails in the range of $100 to $120. Um, as part of the Indominus Rex breakout set, he only comes in one set, uh, which is currently valued up at $300 for the lot. Um, but you can get just the dinosaur if you'd like him. He is sitting right here, hollering at the moon uh, over for 80 bucks. He's got his hands up and everything else with his mouth, lockable jaw as well. Um, nice gray pattern and, of course, removable tail and limbs, just like all the other dinosaurs, so you can get creative with those as well. Um, this is lot number 11, the Indominus Rex, the most vicious, fiercest, gen genetically mutated dinosaur there is. This is lot number 11, the Indominus Rex. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. If you'd like to claim this lot, may just type in in the comments, I claim lot number 11 for $80, and he will be yours to take home. Okay, that's lot number 11. Moving on to number 12. Um, in the, that uh, process as well, make sure that you guys know um, all of these lots do need to pay, be paid within 72 hours. Um, so that's going to put it at Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday at 5 o'clock, um, and then picked up by next Saturday. So you have seven days to pick it up. Uh, we are available here at the store usually between noon and 5. Um, so it gives you plenty of time to kind of come in and uh, pick those sets up. You can also also extra time to pick them up. And if you also need to make special time uh, for to come get it or, or anything, just let us know. Give us a call over here at 815-582-4220 or send us a quick email and we'll be sure to try to make as much of accommodations as we can for you so you can get in and, and pick up your sets. Uh, most of everybody is usually pretty good about picking it up even next day sometimes. So um, it's, it's good times, good times. Um, so now for our animation uh, lovers out there, we have one of the most famous animated uh, families of all shown on the Fox Network. Till this day, I think they're on, I don't know, something like season 38 or 39, something like that, some crazy, yes. um, is going to be our lot number 12 here. Let me, da, 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 da. For some reason, it didn't work. There it goes. It's going to be our Simpsons family. <laughs> Dave, why don't you tell us about this one? So we have the entire family here. Uh, we don't have the dog, unfortunately. He ran off. What do you want from us? <laughs> Santa's, Santa's little helper died, don't you remember? At least no, the first one died. I don't remember. I don't watch it. <laughs> no, but we each have the characters with something. I mean, we have Marge here with a little skirt and apron, like she was in the kitchen. We have the cat. We have Maggie with her beat-up teddy bear. We, of course, have Homer with a remote control and a donut. Mmm, donut. <laughs> and then we have Bart Simpson with a skateboard. Uh, so we thought that would be kind of cool to get the family out there for those of you doing mock cities at home. And that way you, you just throw them in there walking down the street or maybe Bart's in trouble and Homer's got his neck tied up. I don't know. <laughs> So as David said, this lot does contain um, all of the Simpson family, minus Santa's little helper, the dog. Um, so it's got Bart on the left, Homer, uh, Maggie, Lisa, and uh, or Marge and Lisa, sorry. Um, of course, it does come with Bart's skateboard and um, Maggie's little uh, teddy bear. And of course, Homer has his pink strawberry frosted donut, which is my son's favorite. And I believe he also has a remote control in his other hand as well. Um, this lot of uh, Simpsons figures normally sells for $40 for the collection. Um, is yours at 25% off at $30 bucks if you decide to claim lot number 12 for $30. All right. So if you guys have any questions at all, please let us know in the comments. We want to make sure that we get all those answered for you as soon as possible. And, of course, if you decide to claim a lot, please do so. The first one is the one who's going to get it. And um, make sure that it is in the correct format to so make sure that you guys can acquire that as well. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't even realize you were back there doing that. <laughs> Everybody say hi to my son, Christopher. Chris, say hi. <laughs> He's helping out a little bit. Kind of want to get Homer to complete the Iron Man class. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, you could, Guillermo. It could be a different thing. We do have more Homer. We do have separate Homer Simpsons. If you want one, Guillermo, just let me know. We'll be sure to help you guys out. Um, so the next up is going to be our lot number 13. Do we have that ready, guys? Yep, I got it. Okay. Chris, not yet. There you go. All right. So this is going to be our Avengers lot. 
This one comes with Captain America, Iron Man, and Black Widow. Lot normally retails uh, at about thirty dollars, so it could be yours at twenty-four. That's twenty percent off. So of course you've got Captain America from Endgame on the left. You've got uh, which version of Iron Man is that, Dave? You know that one. Mark eighty-five from Infinity War. That's the Mark eighty-five. I thought somebody, I thought somebody was just asking about eighty-five the other day. No, uh, Iron Man is from Endgame, and both Cap and Black Widow are from Infinity War. Yep. So the, we'll just call the last two. Yeah. <laughs> um, so of course, then you can get this lot of trio. Avengers figs. Dave, you want to flip up uh, Cap, or, uh, Iron Man's visor for me there, so you can check out his face sure, too. I can do that real quick. I think that is one of the ones that actually has the face on it. Oh, there he is. So this is a double-sided Tony Stark face. Um, the one side, of course, has the reflection of his face um, from the suit. Um, the other side is a standard Tony Stark face. The um, the blue around his face is called the heads up. Yeah, the the HUD, the heads up display. Um, but that's that's his his. Whenever they do that look, it's it's looking at him while he's looking at the other stuff. So you always see that look on his face. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of surprised they included that in these figs, but it makes sense if you wanted You're to kind of kinda surprised? see what it is. Yeah. I think they took too long to do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, all the other minifigs. Uh, Almost all the minifigs have a basic two p two face printed head. They started doing the heads up, I think, just around Infinity War or just before it. Okay. So now all the Iron Man suits that come out have that head, such as Rhodey in the War Machine. He's got red for his face instead of blue. Right, because he had the red ones. Yep. All right. So that's lot number thirteen. The Avenger figures for twenty four bucks. If you are interested in that, make sure you let us know. And just a little plug as well. Make sure you guys, if you guys haven't already, check out our um, daily contest, Battle of the Brains, Boys versus Girls. We are on day 19 of 21 right now. Um, and uh, today's build that we put out um, was the superheroes build, coincidentally. Um, and I just thought about it. I didn't post those up yet, so I apologize. We will have those posted up as soon as uh, the stream is over, so I do apologize for that. Um, we had kind of a weird situation with the cameras. We had to get fixed up. So um, Next up is going to be our lot number 14. Oops, why is that on that one? There we go. Lot number 14 is our Spider-Man figs. Dave, why don't you go ahead and tell them about these guys? This is our awesome Spider-Man lot. So we have an old variant of Spider-Man that comes in the ultimate verse for the set line. And then we have the newest Venom and a Venomized Iron Man. This is a brand new figure. It's been out for about a month. Oh, that's kind of funny. I'm seeing this on the stream. So it is by far one of my favorite figures. Um, this Iron Man suit, I could tell you, is based off the newest Iron Man suit for the Avengers line. Same head, as I said before. We can't see that, Dave. You, I'm, I'm literally looking right at the thing. How about now? Well, no, because I'm, I'm, you need to hold it near the, the figs down there. <laughs> I can't keep, keep zooming in and out. All right. So that Iron Man suit for Venom is there we go. just like the Iron Man suit that comes out the little $10 mech. Same suit, just Venom is taking over it. Same helmet, just Venom all over it. And this is the same Iron Man head as you saw on the Mark 85 that we just showed off. Um, by far, these are my favorite two Venom figures. The first one was kind of cool with a little smile, but this one, his smile is open up with his mouth. It would have been kind of cool to have his tongue hang out, but they have built sets where you have. It. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and this, like Dave said, this uh, this Iron Venom over here on the right hand side is a much newer figure. Of course, you have the black uh, part of Venom that is taking over Tony Stark and his little reactor core and stuff over there. So that's why it's kind of half and half right now. And there's not much of Tony left <laughs> on the side of there. Um, I'm kind of curious to see how that turns out later on. Um, but this lot number 14 normally retails at $31. You can get a $6 off at 25 right now. If you claim lot number 14 for $25, just make sure you guys are following the format across the ticker on the bottom of the screen so that you claim it correctly. We want to make sure that anybody who wants these can get them. Um, and of course, just as a reminder, we do have about 15 or 20 um, Star Wars lots towards the end of this. So if you guys are looking for those Star Wars sets for May 4th, um, just stay tuned. We will get there that shortly. Okay. All right. That is lot number 14. That's the Spider-Man figures. Thank you, Dave. Um, next up, we're going to switch gears from our uh, superheroes um, and bring you guys lot number 
15. Lot number 15 is going to be our DC Superheroes lot number one. These are some of our uh, villains and heroes from DC, if you're part of the DC comic universe. Um, Dave, you know a lot more about these guys than, than I do, except for Killer Frost, because, of course, you know I totally rocked that uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow show, so she's pretty awesome in that. I like her. Although so. she's in Flash, but, yes, yeah, she makes an appearance. She's both. But, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so... The, in uh, the center is Katana. She could be, she's more like an anti hero because she's, she could be part of the Justice League or she could be an enemy of Batman. It really just depends on the case. We have Killer Frost, of course, aka Caitlin from the Flash TV show. She's really sweet. And then we have the Trickster. He is the an, a side enemy for the Flash. He's not really one of the top villains, he's more of like a B, C team. It really just depends. Um, funny enough, um, in some cartoons, Mark Hamill, who plays Luke Skywalker, also voicing Joker, voices the trickster as well. So that's a really cool thing. Oh, I didn't know he was a trickster as well. Oh, you didn't know that. I didn't. Uh, everybody learned something. Everybody. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so these are really cool figures. And actually, what's cool about Katana is that's the only time you can get those pants. Where yes, got the, the two-tone pants. Gray with the red boots she is the only figure with those two-tone molded legs so it's a really cool figure to have also you know her red arm is printed on the side so she's got that armor so that's really cool too thank you for showing those off dave so you guys get to see those. If you guys have any questions at all, please, like we said, let us know. We'll be happy to show you any of the figures more specifically or a little bit closer if we need to see anything specific. Um, we're here for you guys. We want to make sure you guys are happy with what you are picking up. Okay. All right. So as Dave switches that over, we have one more DC superhero lot for you, um, which is going to be our DC lot number two. Um, otherwise known as lot number 16. This is going to be more of our traditional DC um I guess main characters, if you want to call it that. Um, so this one again is going to be for $28. This is lot 16. This is going to be Lex Luthor, Superman, Batman, and the Joker. So of course we have our superheroes and their corresponding anti supervillains. Um, so nice little lot here, Dave. What do you know about these figs? So what's cool is we have the original Lex Luthor and Joker in here. They haven't redone a baseline Lex Luthor fig, so this one's a rare one. Um, actually, funny enough, is the set that Lex Luthor came in, our buddy Guillermo bought, I think, two weekends ago during our stream. That came from the first ever Lex Mech with the first ever Superman and Wonder Woman to ever come out. And then Joker, that's the original Joker that came in the original Batman line. So that one's one of my favorites because it's just it's really fitting for the figure. And then we have the Lego Batman movie Batman. And then we have the Lego Batman movie Superman. As you can see, he's kind of laughing because uh, Joker hit him with some gas. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> the gas, man. <laughs> All right. So this is our DC superhero lot number two, which is otherwise known as lot number 16 which is almost coming up on all of our, these are the last lot of our uh, minifig, our non-Star Wars minifigs. Um, next up coming up, we've got some animals for you. If you're looking for some awesome little creatures to add onto your collection, uh, it's going to be lot number 17 coming up here as soon as uh, they get it moved over here. Um, so lots number 17 and 18, just so you know, are very similar. They're just going to be a little bit of a different color. Um, so if you are looking for... Um, a little bit of variation. We will get those up, post up to you. Kind of oh, there you go. That works too. We can, I can tag ta ta back and forth. Yep, same price. Um, so first up, I'm just going to make sure that we got the right one. Um, all right. So the gray shark. I'm going to make sure that's uh, gray. I'm just making a little note here. All right. So there you go. Yeah, that's right. So we've got a crocodile, an octopus, and a shark. This is one of the newer sharks with the um, the uh, pupil eyelids. Dave, can you uh, just turn that? A little bit towards more towards no no the other one towards the sh with the shark pointed out chris what are you doing okay there we go so you can see his his little eyelid this is the newer sharks um this lot for the water animals is to be yours for 22 dollars 
Um, these are normally valued at $27. Uh, most of that is coming from the octopus, as he is the most rare of the figs. Um, the other two are usually about $6 each. Um, so essentially, you're getting the two of them the for $4 a piece, with the big one being at $14 instead of $25. Yeah, I think the red one is the more expensive. Uh, they ended up being about the same price, but well, came up a bit, quite a bit. Okay. So this is lot number 17 with the black octopus. And then as we pan over here, we're going to get over to lot number 18, which is going to be the same lot, essentially, but with a red octopus. Um, so as Dave was mentioning here, the red used to be a lot more expensive. It used to be another $5 more than the other one. Um, Dave, you want to go ahead and turn that straight again real quick for me? The red one. There you go. I wonder if they could tell me what the rarest one is. The rarest octopus? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that'd be a good question. Um, so again, we've got one of the newer crocodiles, the red octopus, and one of the new sharks, of course, with working latchable jaw. Um, both lots, 17 and 18, are $22 each. So lot 17 is with the black octopus. Lot 18 is with the red octopus. So those are our last of our, I guess, minifigs, non-Star Wars minifigs. We have we one more to go. Um, oh, there is one more. Yes, there is one left, which is one that has not been shown on here yet. Just, everything is everything on here has been brand new for the for the um, Cyber Fun Days. We have not released any of these before, um, and all of the Star Wars sets that we're going to show you later, especially the certified ones, were just done about a day or two ago, um, and those have never been on here um, at all. And of course, we wanted to try to save them for for this stream because we wanted to give you something special for um, May the Fourth. Um, so next one up here is going to be lot number 19. This is Shredder and the Foot Soldiers. So of course we're rocking old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Dave, what do you like about Shredder? I like I like how his face it has this like marking on it. Oh yeah, that's from his when he got uh, what was it burned or whatever I think in the in the show. Yeah, because Splinter attacked him and then he got hit. He got buried. So, of course, all these uh, foot soldiers have different weapons. We've got uh, one with a silver sword, one with a gold sword, one with uh, some, uh, I think it's an axe. And then the one on the left has the, um, the little ninja stars. And, of course, Shredder has got his armored-plated um, claws, um, which I think is funny because it's pretty much the same piece that they use for uh, Captain America for later on, right? Isn't the same piece? Well, no. These pieces came out in Prince of Persia, and then they got used for Shredder, and then they were used for Captain America. Right, but I'm saying they're the same piece, it's though. The same piece. Yeah, so it's kind of it's funny that they go from claws to a uh, to a shield thing, and it's it's See, kind these, of thrown this around. Is one of the things I could rant about. Yeah. Um, so this lot here normally retails at fifty five dollars. So you're getting fifteen dollars off here on Shredder and the Foot Soldiers. Um, this lot of five. Um, is yours if you just claim lot number 19 for $40. Um, Ryan. I have somebody who was saying, uh, Kurt posted up about your octopus saying that he believes that orange is the rarest of the octopi. There is another one. <laughs> there is another. <laughs> there is another, yes. Yes, Kurt. Uh, I forgot that there was an orange one, so that's my bad. But there is another one that might be rare. Um, it only came in one set, but I can't tell you what that is. Hey, Chris. All right. So that was Shredder and the Foot Soldiers, lot number 19 for 40 bucks. Ryan, um, can you tell me the name of Shredder? His real name? Uh, it's been too long. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't even tell you Splinter's real name anymore. Ugh. Ugh. I used to watch it religiously. You guys can't see it, but I have a knife in my gut. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that is the last of our non-Star Wars minifigs. Um, so if you guys are looking for anything else, make sure you guys let us know. Um, I already know that somebody wanted to get some friends minifigs put on there, some of the mini dolls. Um, so we'll try to be sure to add those to our next stream. Um, but of course, um, if you guys are looking for any certain other themes or anything, let us know because we want to um, get those out to you guys as much as we can. We should um, see because you guys can't really check out those minifigs right now because they're all here. We should so. see in the chat if anybody knows their names. Splinter and Shredder? Yep. So if any of you at home know what Splinter and Shredder's real names you gotta are. You got to know it off the top of your head. Can't just let Google us know. It, although I can't catch you. So, <laughs> But a nice little segue into our sets. Um, is going to be from those lovely um, Shredder and the Foot Soldiers is going to be moving into our lot number 20, which is going to be the Big Rig, Big Rig Snow Getaway set. 
Um, this one here uh, normally retails around 45 bucks, um, but it is a very sought after set. It has a lot of cool uh, figs and stuff in it. This is a one of the movie sets um, that comes with Leonardo, Raphael. I believe that's, um, is that a version of her? Um, why am I having a brain fart right now? Well, I mean, I can't remember what her name ended is. Ended yesterday, so what's what's the girl's name? I, I know April O'Neil, of course. Oh, hey, April. Um, but the other the, the other girl is that the same one from the show, the cartoon? Uh, Karai. Karai, yeah. So I'm gonna pan along here. Dave, why don't you talk about this one here? This one's really cool. Um, what's funny enough is this set uh, I had been looking for for a long time, and I think like. The first few months I was working here, I came in, I was off for a weekend or something, and uh, Ryan happened to get this set new in box, and he had it up on the shelf, and I didn't know. So I came in, and I, don't, I do my normal like check around the shop to see what's new before I eat breakfast or just start the morning, and I just happened to turn right, and I like ran to the shelf and grabbed that set real quick because I've been looking for that for a long time. I wasn't able to get it in stores. So I was really happy about it. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't make any other mo movie f sets, which is fine because I mean I think three sets based off Michael Bay's film would have been is pretty pretty on time. Uh, it would have been cool if they made some sets for the second film, but they did not. Again, another topic for another day. And yep. yeah, it's a cool one. The, the semi truck is really fun. Yeah, so the semi truck opens up on the sides here to relate to to show off the little ooze lab here, mutation lab, um, with of course the screen that shows them from little turtles into teenage mutant ninja turtles, um, and then comes with this little black uh, truck on the side with a retractable missile launcher in the roof. Um, Dave, can you fold that in real quick just so I can see yeah. what it looks like? And then of course the uh, you know license plates and stuff are all of course on there as well, bulleted on there. Um, so there is what the truck looks like with its retracted roofed in yeah it's a pretty good scale go the truck and you actually truck. could fit like three minifigs in the front of the car. yeah it's got a, it's the truck is really nice i like this truck a lot it's yeah, got you fit the, one person driving and then you could fit two other figures in the back it's, it's yeah and it's it's kind of hard to see from here too but it also does have the lift if you decide you want to remove the trailer there is a little stand underneath that i'm zooming in on here um that pops out as well so if you want to just kind of pop that up um and then take the the, the front trailer out then you may do so as well um, so this is lot number 20 for 40 bucks, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, from the movie sets. All right. And for those of you who didn't know, this is the best Leonardo just because of that. Oh, because of the back? Yeah. Let's see if we can just zoom in on it real quick. Yeah, he's got a nice, nice, awesome double, double sorted uh, okay. even backpack though, there. With even his, though I like the 2012 yeah. Ninja Turtles. This is definitely my favorite because he could hold his swords on the back. Yep, on both of them, yep. Yeah, there's not many that he allows to do that because all of the other uh, Teenage Ninja Turtle sets that came out, um, they pretty much have that their one little um, shell for their, their neck piece, um, and then they have no option to hold anything else on it except for in their hands. So, Which um, is understandable, but then uh, when they came out with this theme, they put a stud on the back. So. Yep. Yeah, finally they put a stud on the back where we would always want it. <laughs> yeah, but the only two who wear stuff on their back is Leo and Donnie. So. Yep. So uh, next one up is going to be our, I think our only one left in the store, if I remember right, um, is going to be one of our last elves sets we've got uh, available right now. Um, Dave's just getting it prepped over there real quick. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to turn it the other way. Yeah, so they could see there you it. go. Turn it that way. There you go. Perfect. Like a beast. All right. This one is going to be our lot number 21, Nada, Nada's Epic Adventure Ship. Uh, this one is valued at $30 here for you today. It um, does come with too many dolls. Of course, the nice little sail ship, the instructions, and, of course, their little gems and everything else here for you, too. Um, this is one of the last few of the elf sets uh, that they made. This is the last one we have currently in the store. Um, so if you guys are looking for elves, this is the one to get. Um, I believe it was dragon? only missing one piece from this lot. What's that? Oh, okay. So it might be missing more than one, one piece. <laughs> but it is functional. It does have the, the whole uh, rooftop to it, too. And I believe um, if you turn the steering wheel, the, um, the sail moves, if I'm correct. 
And then there's uh -huh. one. Yep, there it goes. Yep. It works. So it does have a function in it. And if you, you guys are part of those motion builders for our Monday build um, coming up, that would be included because you are creating motion through an item. So something like that is something you can easily do. Um, so again, this is lot number 21, Nada's Epic Adventure Ship for 30 bucks. Uh, it is our last uh, elf set here in the store. So if you guys are looking for elves, this is the one to get. All right. All right, that moves us on to our next two sets, which are both going to be friends sets. If you're looking for those friends sets, um, we're going to get those set up here for you. Our first one up is going to be the Adventure Camp Rafting Set, which is for eleven twenty one. Um, this set is going to be available to you at twenty four dollars here. Um, Dave's just getting it set up with the little raft there. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Okay. I mean, I'm going to zoom in over there. All right. So this is lot number 22, the Adventure Camp Rafting Set. Um, ironically enough, we are missing the pink raft. <laughs> so that is the one thing that's missing from this set, but it does come with two of the mini dolls. And, of course, you have the baby bear on the right-hand side um, on his little island there um, with, the, with the fish. And then it does have the rafting trophy and tent along with a nice little campfire with them with their little um, uh, camera and uh, marshmallows on their sticks. Sounds delicious. I know, right? I would love like some s'mores right now. <sighs> if I can it's only nice go camping right now. Fire, so. Yeah, and there's a pretty cool, nice little uh, fire build as well. Let me chat, jump over here to the, the bear. You can see the cute little bear hiding out of front of this side. So this is our Adventure Camp Rafting set for $24. Uh, it does come with the instructions as well. Um, so it is near complete, just missing that one this pink one cool raft that's there. Yep. Oh, no! Um, so, of course, you could do that the way that Dave did it with the flick of a finger, or there's that yellow knob right there on the bottom right side where you could just grab it and turn it and make it fall um, if you want, of course. Um, so there's some different, uh, different little play activities for this as well. And then you have the, the uh, little uh, direction sign on the right-hand side as well for this one. This is lot number 22, the Adventure Camp Rafting set for $24. So, of course, if you want to claim this set, just type into the comments, I claim lot 22 for $24. All right, next up is going to be our second friend set here. Um, this one's coming up is going to be a really fun set, really cool set. Um, it's probably one of my favorite of the newer friend sets. Um, we've seen it before, and actually, I'm surprised. Um, you know, if, if it doesn't sell tonight, I might even donate it to our next door neighbors over here at the at the grill. Um, it'd be something cool that they could put in there. Um, I know they've been talking about the little hot dog guy all the time, um, so hopefully, we'll have to find him at some point or another as well. And then Dave's just getting set up over there. So again, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys let us know. If you guys are looking for something else. Uh, Rob is asking about Star Wars. No, you did not miss any Star Wars. And we did not miss any Harry Potter yet either. We have Harry Potter coming up in a little bit. Um, but Star Wars is going to be last today. Um, we want to make sure you guys get to have plenty of time to look over everything and, and choose what you want to do. Um, so our next one up is here is going to be um, lot number 24, 23, sorry, my bad, 23, um, which is going to be the Amusement Park Hot Dog Van. So funny enough, it does utilize that um, hot dog piece um, for the hot dog guy, but switched it up and made it into a mini doll. And this cute little set does come with a fully utilized hot dog van, kind of like the Wienermobile. Uh, it does have ketchup and mustard and relish and all that stuff on the inside. It has a nice little dining area on top if you use that ladder. Of course, da, 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 da. you can see the nice little, nice little drinks and stuff upstairs with the little seats. And of course, it does come with the two mini figs, which is of course the marketer, and I would assume is one of the sellers, um, along with a little cutout, which we were just talking about that yesterday in our uh, Battle of the Brains builds. Little cutout window there, um, some stools which are upside down, which is kind of funny. You want to flip those right way? There we go. There's some stools. Um, there's a little mirror, which I think is supposed to be one of those funny mirrors at the amusement parks, those little magic mirrors. And then, of course, you get the little $3 hot dog sign. Man, $3 for a hot dog? Whew. Holy cow. Um, so cute little set here. I really like this one. It's a nice, cute little car. 
Um, and great for if you have that uh, Friends Amusement Park set, which we had the carnival and stuff before, um, and to be able to add on to that and have some fun with it. So um, this is lot number 23 for $25. So if you want to claim this lot, make sure you just type that in. I claim lot number 23 for 25 bucks, And this set is yours, um, and no one else can take it from you. No one else can steal your hot dog. <laughs> All right. So those are our friend sets for the day. All right. Next I up, that was the last of our open sets too, because the rest of these are all yes. going to be new in box. Um, and so the next few sets, that is correct. The next few sets we have coming up here are going to be brand new in box sets, um, starting with uh, some of the other ones here. Um, lot number twenty-four. I know who was just asking about that. Uh, Mr. Rob was asking about Harry Potter sets and Star Wars sets. This is your one Harry Potter lot of the night. Um, I believe we only have one. <laughs> Uh, we're calling it the Wizarding World lot here. The Wizarding World of... The Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Friends. <laughs> That's what it really should be called. Um, so this one is going to be lot number 24. This is Aragog's Lair and Grimwald's Escape. I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit there so you can see both. So these are brand new open sets. Or brand new sealed sets, I mean, sorry. Um, but Aragog's Lair did have um, a, a, an accident when during shipping one time, and some of the front cover got torn off, which is why there's Looks um, like the some of the exposed to cardboard there. Yeah, it's like this, the Aragog was trying to get out. Um, I do think this is probably the best version of Aragog that they made. Yes, I agree. By far. I agree. Um, it's definitely more and, spot on for how spiders are designed. And built. Yeah. Yeah, so this one here uh, comes with some really cool colored spiders as well. Um, and of course, the, they are the mini figs or the, the the mini leg, short leg versions of Ron and Harry. Um, it comes with the two black spiders and three brown spiders. Um, she lob the tree, and of course, their figs. And then this is one of the first times I think we saw that new lantern piece that comes with uh, Ron Weasley yeah. as well. Um, so this was a cute little set. And then as we scroll down here, I'm going to try to zoom in this correctly for you, is the Grindelwald's Escape. It comes with two of the figs as well. With uh, I'm not even I can't remember what the name of those creatures are called. Thestrals. Was it? Thestral. A Thestral? Yeah. Um, but Luna was able to see them. Yes. And it's the same creatures. Um, so they're invisible, undead creatures, essentially um, mystical creatures um, that are pulling the carriages. And, of course, then you have two of the wizards here. As well, they decide to fight each other. Funny enough, those wings escape. that the Thestral have come in two different ways. You can get it all black, or you can get it with this translucent black and black. Interesting. What set is that part of? The regular black wings come on the newer Batmobile. Ah, when that's it came cool. Out earlier this year, not yeah. the kitty one. So this is the one Harry Potter set you're going to be able to get today, or, or a lot, I should say. So this is lot number 24. Um, Aragog's Lair and Grimwald's Escape for 40 bucks, um, normally priced at 55. So, this is 15 dollars off. You're almost getting that the, the Aragog's Lair for free. Um, so, um, awesome little set here, um, for your Harry Potter fans at home. All right, moving on from Mr. Harry Potter, um, is going to be our one of our World Racers sets over here. Um, this is gonna be lot number 25. This is our Jagged Jaws Reef for 25 bucks. Um, this is, again, brand new set. Um, I can zoom out here. Wrong way. Comes with 191 pieces. Um, this set, uh, you know, I don't remember what year this is from. <laughs> I'm just trying to find it real quick. This is a much older set. <laughs> Uh, All right, so Jagged Jaws Reef, hello, comes from 2010, so we got 10 years on this guy. Um, this is a brand new World Racer set, like we said, um, comes with both the green and red teams, as all the Red Racer sets do. This is their water boat, our speed boat set. Um, if you're familiar with the World Racers, every set is different. Um, they've got tanks, they've got snow snowmobiles and stuff like that. They've got water stuff, they've got trucks. There's motorcycles. There's all sorts of different things, but this is the speedboat set um, from that series. Yeah, I think there um, were ten or twelve different ones. Yeah, and every one is a different race. This is race number two, 
So it's kind of like, a, uh, uh, as I said, World Race Versus is the race around the world. So they have to use different uh, utilities to get around. And actually, the number 13 that is on this uh, boat right here is actually also on my derby car here in the store. Um, that is my number. It's my like, sort of lucky number-ish. Um, and, of course, it's, it's been treating me well here at the store for um, our races as it is. Almost the number one car. I think Dave beat me on a, on a fluke last time we raced each other. <laughs> was it a fluke, though? Um, Dave, you want to spin that, spin that box around real quick so they can see the back of that as well? So there you go, just to see what it comes with. And, of course, it's got a little shooting fish. Nice little buoy for them to float at with the, the, um, the cup. And I even threw a shark in there as well for you. And then the red one has the shooting grappling hook that comes out of the front. Which I believe is a flick fire mechanism for this one. You yes. can't really show it that, but it's more of a flick fire. All right. So that's lot number 25, the Jagged Jaws Reef set for $25. All right. Next up uh, is going to be something else for the girls here. Uh, one of our DC superhero girls lots. I'm going to have to zoom out for this one. This is the big set. I actually just noticed something funny about this set, which I'll talk about in a minute. Okay. So go ahead. All right. So this is lot number 26. This is going to be our Eclipso Dark Palace um, at a whopping 1,078 pieces. Uh, this lot can be yours for only 55 bucks. So even the price per count, this is half of what Lego charges normally. Um, so this lot here comes with uh, three different minifigs here. Um, of course, it's uh, going to be Eclipso. Wonder Woman and the Flash. Um, Eclipso is, of course, in her tower there. Wonder Woman is in her not-so-invisible jet. And the Flash is in prison right now, which is kind of funny. Um, and it looks like from this one, uh, she's trying to collect all of the superheroes um, as they do have the Wonder Woman logo, the Superman logo, and Batman logos in the Can back. Can you tell me what's funny about that? Um, no. Which one of those tanks is... Kind of obvious. What do you mean? Which one of those superhero tanks is kind of obvious? It stands out. Wonder Woman. No. It's a, you it's you a tell Batman me. Batman symbol. Okay. What about it? Batman has no powers. You are correct. <laughs> so uh, that, is, that is kind of ironic. E Eclipso needs to get her info. She's together. trying to get his his, his, uh, his brains, maybe. <laughs> his life force, maybe. But even then, it's like. I mean, unless I use the Lazarus pit, it's not really worth it. <laughs> yeah, so this thousand piece set could be yours for only 55 bucks. What's cool is Wonder Woman has this really awesome printed shield. This is the only time you can get this shield. It's the same size as the Captain America shield. Um, so it's a really cool new 52 base. And uh, I was actually trying to look up if I could find her jet anywhere, and nobody's selling it. So I'm going to have to part it out because. I just realized you could hold two figures in that jet. Yeah, there seem to be um, looks like some stud shooters on the sides. Yeah, um, so as right well as a, some, a couple little weapons here on the side too, with a, a sword in it as well. Yeah, it's it's a cool set. Got some cool parts in there. Uh, a lot of really nice color options. Yeah, dark a lot king, of black purple, and purple. Yep, black. the magenta. All right, so this is lot number 26, the Eclipse of Dark Palace. For $55, if you want to claim that, make sure you guys just follow that um, prompt on the bottom of the screen and make sure you guys claim it correctly so that it can be yours and you can take it home. All right. Next up is our last set, our last lot before our Star Wars begins. So if you guys are waiting for the Star Wars sets, it is coming up right after this. Um, and it's going to start with some of our new in-box sets. Um, and then it's going to change into our certified sets, um, which we have at least 10 of. And then it's going to bring us into seven of our minifigure lots that we have available for you. Um, and I think some of them are pretty awesome. I think it was some, some good choices that we made for you guys um, to enjoy at home. So this last set before Star Wars is going to be kind of close to it. This is going to be lot number 27. This is the Ice Tank. Um, from the Ninjago movie. So this is Zane's Ice Tank. Um, this is a 914-piece set. 
So check out this bad boy. Dave, what do you think about this guy? I think it's cool. It's the only set we have not seen here built. So that is I true. Would, I would love to see this set come in later in the end of the year, next year, just so I can mess with it. Because I've messed with the Fire Mech. I've messed with Lloyd's Dragon as I do at home. Um, I've seen uh, Cole's Mech. I've seen Nia's Water Sprite, which is kind of cool. I haven't seen the Garmadon, Garmadon, or Garmatron. Oh, the Garmatron? I, we've had it once before. I've seen it in stores, like, built in a case, but I've never got to mess with it. <laughs> but it's... I really like this one. I, I think the whole diamond concept is kind of cool. The tread design is really neat. And then the whole, like, flick fire tri-pointed weapon is a really good design. You wanna, Can you flip that box around so we can see yeah, what... Uh, Play features and stuff it has. Bleep. Oh, too far. Uh, that's fine right there. So, of course, you've got Zane jumping out of it here at the top. And if we zoom in the bottom here. Bloop, whoop, off camera. Bloop, bloop. Come on. Refocus. There we go. So, of course, we've got a uh, stud shooter gun on the side, like almost like a minigun style. We've, of course, got his uh, flip top cockpit. Um, as you roll it, the ice spinner in the back does rotate it around as well, which is a cool uh, mechanism as well. And I do like how they did those that treads. The treads in the back look awesome with those those big spoke wheels. I think that was really cool. Yeah, like I said, like, I, I, I really want to see this thing come in and, and look at that 12 nice. inches in length whoo it's a very long very tall um ninjago vehicle so if you guys are looking for something big and different um this one could be yours at only 100 bucks this is lot number 27 the ice tank for 100 dollars. all right so that's the first 27 guys everybody's been been waiting and, and holding on um, so of course this is gonna start our Star Wars, um, our Star Wars lots here. Um, like we said, we're gonna start out with some of the new unbox sets uh, that are gonna be retired. Most of them are about five or six years old. Um, some of them, the first couple here are only about two years old. Um, and then it's gonna move into our um, certified sets, which are all from the last run of Star Wars. Um, uh, it's about the December, January sets of Star Wars, so a lot of the Rise of Skywalker sets. Um, and then we have seven lots of minifigs to follow that. Um, and that's where it's going to end is with our minifigs. So bear with us as we get through these. Um, there's going to be some really cool sets in here. We're, we're happy to share them with you guys. Um, and of course, they are all going to be less expensive than getting them from Lego's website brand new um, because they are certified sets. So you are always automatically saving some money on them. So first up here is going to be one of the great duos from uh, Rogue One, a Star Wars movie. This is going to be lot number 28. Dun, dun, dun. Shirt Imwe and Baze Malbus. These guys come together as a pair for only 20 bucks. So you get both of these buildable Star Wars figs. They both stand about, uh, I think, 10 inches tall, roughly. Um, these are part of the entire line. Uh, they have about uh, 23 different figures they've come out with over time. They've got these two. Of course, they also added Jin Erso, um, Finn, Poe Dameron, um, Chewbacca, Darth Vader, Darth Maul. There's been so many figures. You know, I don't think they've done an Emperor yet, which is kind of interesting. I, just thought about, I don't think they've ever no, done an Emperor. No, because the line got canceled. Yeah. Um, so these guys could be yours. This is our first Star Wars lot. These are new in box. Um, you get the pair of Trude Imwe and Baze Malbus from Rogue One, a Star Wars movie, for $20. So this is lot number 28 for $20. All right. That's the first Star Wars lot. No takers yet. That's all right. So next up is going to be lot number 29. Coming up here. Probably the a, best version of this one that we're about to show off. Another one here. Yes, I would. Uh, I would. I, I, I mean, it's in the middle, but yeah, I would agree. Um, all right, so this one here is going to be our Imperial Land and Craft. This set is a six hundred thirty piece, six hundred and thirty-six piece set. Comes with five minifigures, 
which is Stormtrooper, two Stormtroopers, Obi-Wan Kenobi, R2-D2, and, of course, the Imperial Shuttle Pilot, because you've got to have a pilot. Um, these Stormtroopers are some of the cool Stormtroopers with the sand printing on them as well, um, because, of course, they're landing in a desert, so you've got to have some sand, because sand gets everywhere, as we all know. Um, this is an awesome 636-piece set. Um, could you mind sw flipping it around so you can take a look at the back? All right. Um, so this set comes to you from 2018. Um, and as Dave says, these wings are a little bit smaller and in the back, but the entire cockpit raises up and does fit, I believe, three minifigs in the cockpit. You can also have minifigs stored away on either side, as you've shown here. You can see one side has the, um, the minifig seated, and the other one has the ramp to come down. So you can fit all minifigures in here, including some extras if you happen to take any prisoners um, in your Star Wars battles. You've got low, low, lowerable um, landing gear here. You've got um, stud shooter missiles on the side. And, of course, the, one of the biggest cool features is the wings also rotate um, from the up position to the flying position, of course, from landing to landing. So landing to flying, I should say. So this is lot number 29, set number 75221. Um, this one can be yours for $75. And again, this set is brand new, brand spanking new, never opened. Um, and this is two years old. This is a retired set and cannot be found anywhere else but here in maybe Amazon for like $200 because <laughs> Amazon is way too expensive. All right, that brings us up into the um, the 30s here. Um, so we're going to be at lot number 30 even. Um, and I believe this is the beginning of our 10 certified uh, Star Wars lots. Um, so these were just done a few days ago. Um, mostly thank you to my wife who went through most of all of them. Um, and then we kind of hijacked some other parts here from the store. Um, to make sure we can get them finished for you guys at home. Um, so our first one up, we're going to go from, just so you guys know, we're going from least expensive to most expensive. Um, so if you guys are looking for one of the bigger sets, they're going to be at the end of this, um, of the lot, the string here. And of course, it's going to be ending with a, the largest one of the new series. I'm not going to tell you which one that is, because you should already know if you're a Star Wars fan. Uh, but our first one up here is going to be uh, lot number 30. This is our Luke Skywalker's land speeder. I think iteration number six <laughs> or something like that. This is definitely one of the newest ones. <laughs> 8,562. Um, so this lot here, um, I do like the fact of, of how the speeder's done and it does utilize some of those new pieces, which are the ones I had to actually take from an Overwatch set of ours here at the store um, to complete this, which are some um, small, I would even say, like uh, two by twos, almost the little cones in the back. So, the one big difference about this set versus the other Luke's Lion Speeders is this one does come with a Jawa, which is the first one of those. Um, so for those, okay, we have some claims here as well. Um, Rich, okay, Rich, uh, make sure that, Rich, you are talking about um, lot number 29. So you want to type in lot number, I, I claim lot number 29 for $75, Rich, if you are listening. Um, so it sounds like Rich is going to claim lot number 29. Once he types that in, so Rich, just please type that in so I can get that in correctly for you. Well, give me one second, guys. There we go. Rich did it right this time. All right. Rich, you picked up an awesome set. Thank you very much. And it looks like Don Marta is going to claim lot number 30. So congratulations. You are taking home Luke's land speeder, Don Marta. Don Marta is taking home Luke's land speeder. 
I knew everybody was going to start picking up on these Star Wars sets. <laughs> um, so Rich is getting the Imperial Shuttle, lot number 29. Um, and Don is claiming lot number 30 for $20. So thank you very much, guys. We have more Star Wars coming up for you right now. Uh, yeah, there is no breaks. We go straight through. We don't need no breaks. Um, so next one up is going to be lot number 31. Lot number 31 is going to be our X-Wing Starfighter um, for an over set. This is technically what they used to consider a junior set. Um, this one comes with Luke Skywalker, R2-D2, and a Stormtrooper. Um, this is supposed to be one of the trench runs um, as the X-Wing with Red 5 is flying over. And there's a star uh, Stormtrooper, which is ironic enough, trying to shoot at him um, with the um, stationary cannon from the Death De De Star shooting at him as well. Um, Jeff was asking which one was the superhero girl's dark palace. Um, that one is lot number 26, the Eclipse of Dark Palace. If you were asking Jeff, is lot number 26, the Dark Palace. I'll give you guys just a second to double check that real quick. And then we'll continue on with these Star Wars sets. Let me get back to this one here. All right, so this one here, like we said, is lot number 31. This is the X-Wing Starfighter Trench Run. Um, does come with a little explosive option there as well, so you can you know, shoot other discs and well. So there's a lot of fun little activity in here, but because it is a foreign overset, um, basically it's a very simple build, and for the X-Wing, it's a lot less pieces. Um, they've come up with certain, a lot of certain pieces for that lot as well um, to go through that. Um, and we've got Jeff claiming the lot number 26. Lot number 26 for 55, the Eclipse of Dark Palace, is going to Jeffrey John. Congratulations, Jeffrey. And once again, you guys have until Tuesday at 5 to make those payments. Make sure you guys give us a call here at 815-582-4220 to make payment uh, credit card over the phone. And then you guys have until Saturday, uh, a week from today, to pick those items up. Um, so congratulations to Jeffrey. And this one, of course, is going back to lot number 31, the X-Wing Starfighter. Dave, you want to turn that around real quick, see if there's any uh, little extra play features I forgot on the back? Um, so as you guys can see here with this perfect start option here is a very, very simple build compared to most of the other X-Wings if you've ever built another X-Wing before. Um, and the reason these are four and over sets is because anybody who is basically four or five years old and they built any kind of Lego before should have this knocked out in a fairly decent amount of time. Um, and as we did get to play with these, as these were, all did come in built, um, it's actually a pretty cool little set and comes with three figures as well, which just those three figures are valued easily at 30 bucks by themselves. Um, and it is one of the classic uh, blue striped stormtroopers as well, which everybody's always looking for. Uh, so it's a cool little set for 20 bucks. All right. So no claims on lot number 31 yet. All right. So let's gonna move us on to lot number 32. Um, this is going to be one of the bigger sets. Actually, no, this is the same set here, um, but a bigger ship. Bigger ship, same size box. Um, like we said, we're going to start out with our least expensive ones and get up to our most expensive ones as we go, just to make sure that everybody has a chance to pick up what they want. Yes, there's a big set. I don't, I'm glad it still fits in, in the little box. Um, all right, next one up is going to be lot number 32. This is our Resistance A-Wing. Um, this is the first A-Wing that ever came out in green. Most of them are red, um, just like the new UCS A-Wing is also red. Um, this is one of the first green ones. It's from Green Team. Um, does come with too many figures. Lieutenant Connix, which is played by um, Carrie Fisher's daughter. And Snap Wesley, who unfortunately in Episode 9 bit the dust. So... Uh, he's one of Poe's Pose friends flying it, of course. Um, and uh, he's been in a lot of other movies, too. I forgot what the actor's name is. Um, but this slot here, as well, can be yours for 25 bucks. So this is lot, lot number 32 for $25. Uh, looks like Rich is also going to claim lot number 31, the X-Wing. Congratulations to Rich. Rich is claiming 31 for 20. Just try to include the uh, dollar sign in there next time, Rich, but we know what you mean. But yeah, just try to include the dollar sign in there so we, you know that it's going to be 20 bucks. All right. 
So that one is lot number 32 for the resistance A-wing, if you're interested in the A-wing. All right. Dave's going to go ahead and grab our next lot, which is going to be lot number 33. This is our first price bump up, I think. Nope, nope, same price, same price. My bad. I was switching pages here, man. It's, there's a lot of pages. <laughs> it's like reading a book. All right, so this one is going to be for more of our collectors out there. Um, this one is going to be our lot 33 Anakin's 25th anniversary pod racer set. Um, so this one comes with the 20th anniversary Luke Skywalker uh, collectible figure in plate. Um, Anakin's traditional pod racer set with, of course, his older love interest, um, Padme Amidala, who then becomes Luke and Leia's mother. Um, so this lot can be yours for 25 bucks. This is lot number 33, Anakin Pod Racer for $25. Dave, you want to flip that around real quick? And I believe, I, don't, I can't remember if there were five or six of the 20th anniversary figs, um, but you can see some of them at the bottom. There's also an Obi-Wan that was in a poly bag that was not included um, for a long time. Everybody was waiting for him. Uh, but then, I, of course, down here it shows you the sets that you can pick up those other minifigs in as well. Those are all the old versions of the minifigs, but, of course, all of them do have a 20th anniversary printing on the back um, to clarify that it is not the older figure because some of those old figs, especially Lando, are worth quite a lot. Um, so it's going to make a huge difference. Um, but it is a very swishable um, vehicle because you can grab it from the, the very bottom base there and fly it around as shown on the right-hand side. Um, again... 25th anniversary Anakin's pod racer set with two figures. All right. Moving on. This is going to be our first price bump. So this set comes to you care of episode nine, the rise of Skywalker. Um, this is one of the funnest little builds, I think, um, especially because of this uh, awesome little vehicle that comes with it. I, I think it's, I think it's pretty dope. This one is going to be, Lot number 34, the Pisana Speeder Chase. This one comes with four minifigures, which of course includes Ray in her new white outfit. It's the first time you get her in white. She looks like Padme. She, she has the Padme look, doesn't she? So like it's it. creepy. Um, of course, BB-8. And then the very first time we see First Order Jet Troopers and the new Tread Speeder driver in Tread Speeder. Um, this one has had a nice little uh, function in the movie where he flung the jet speeders uh, or the jet troopers off towards um, the good old rebels to blow them up. And of course, then you have the little speeder skiff here and the little shop that they stole it from here in the background with all the little tools and things in it, which is kind of funny. Too bad the bike doesn't do that. Um, yeah, we were kind of hoping that when the, when you got the set that the, the speeder bike would actually have a little mechanism to shoot her off, to shoot the other one, like fling it off. Um, but it does not appear to be that way. We have not seen something else otherwise um, since then. Uh, looks like Kurt, Mr. Kurt Walker, Welker, sorry, my man. Kurt Welker is claiming lot number 34, right. so it is gone. Congrats, Mr. Kurt. Congratulations to Kurt Welker. Kurt Welker is taking home this Pasano Speeder Chase. All right, so we are getting bigger here, guys. This is the... This is the tail end of a lot of these uh, ships here for you. Um, just trying to get them loaded in here. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna play with the camera because you gotta adjust. All right, so this one coming up here is going to be lot number thirty-five. This is the Resistance Y-wing set. So this one includes the awesomely dashing Poe Dameron. Oop, wrong way. From episode nine with his his different swishable hair and his new outfit. Of course, Zori Bliss, the First Order Snowtrooper, and the uh, Zori's Astromech, and of course, the new droid that everybody loves or hates, but mostly loves, Dio. So you get five minifigs in this awesome Y-Wing. I think this is probably one of the coolest Y-Wings that came out so it's far. It's definitely though. my think? favorite. I think the color scheme is definitely the best, and the way they tiled it, too. Is... Yeah, I like the tiling and the greebling they did on the top. Um, really solidifies it together as like a, a better maintained Y-Wing because it did kind of come out of nowhere when they um, uh, recruited more people. 
Uh, but this one does have a series of bombs, as you can see, falling in just like almost all the Y-Wings do um, with a new cannon uh, right behind the cockpit. And of course, the um, spring-loaded missiles, they are not flick fire, so I'm very proud of that, um, that they are actually spring-loaded missiles for once. Um, but this one could be yours for $60. Um, normally, I believe this set was $75 bucks, um, coming out of the gate. And then, of course, has little TIE Fighters in the distance, which Star, Star Wars always has a little thing to show those off. So thank you, Dave. So that is lot number 35, the Resistance Y-Wing. And next up, we're going to step it up a little notch here, go a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer, and a little bit newer, of course. Again, from the Rise of Skywalker, this is going to be lot number 36. This is Poe Dameron's X-Wing, as we were talking about earlier. Um, once again, it has these spring-loaded missiles, as you can see on the, the top there, top right corner. Um, this is the only X-Wing that has been done in a white and orange color pattern. Most of the other ones, Poe's last one was um, black and orange. Um, so it's kind of funny that he's trying to win white and orange now. Um, this is one of the few sets that you can pick up to include one of the Knights of Ren. And of course, they don't have any names, which I don't think they ever got any names. Um, this is also the only set I believe you can get Janna in as well. So this is a uh, set with Janna, Poe Dameron, the Knight of Ren, and R2-D2. Um, because he was flying with Poe for that mission instead of BB-8, because BB-8 was hanging out with Bray. Um, this set, I do know that um, two of these stickers were applied currently, but the one for the nose cone was still loose, um, so you still have that one to attach on. Uh, many of these um, are, like we said, are certified 100% complete sets, um, so you guys can pick those up. Uh, looks like Rich is going to pick up uh, lot number 36. Congratulations, Rich. Rich is on a roll here today. Another one. He's picking, he's, he's taking advantage of these discounts, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, one of the biggest things I've been asked about a lot of times right now with, um, with the Star Wars stuff is, um, currently Lego has their May 4th giveaways and or sales and stuff going on, which, uh, happened, started yesterday. Today's the second, right? Yeah, started yesterday and goes to the fourth. Um, but a lot of countries around the world, um, when they logged in to buy those sets, are all completely sold out and they are not back orderable. They're just gone um, because of the shortage from Lego. They're having a hard time keeping up with them. And then, of course, then they have that one giveaway for the um, the uh, Death Star A Wing Chase, um, which is a new mini micro build. But it is not a 20th anniversary build to go with the Endor and um, Hoth builds. So it's kind of a bummer that it wasn't a 20th anniversary, but it was still a really good set. Um, and uh, to get that in for you, um, Rob. Yes. Oh, I do have that too. Rob, yes. Rob is claiming lot number 35, the Y-Wing. Thank you, Rob, for a reminder. They all came through at the same time that it disappeared. Awesome. So Rob is taking the Resistance Y-Wing. I hope you have a lot of fun with that one. It was a really cool set. I love that. It is my favorite by far uh, of the Y-Wings, for sure. Um, so thank you very much. All right. Next one up is going to be at the same price point value here. Um, do I have this lined up correctly? I'm, I'm being camera guy, too, here, so that's kind of fun. Um, is going to be... Da, 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 da. Oop, I didn't, have it. I didn't put it in here yet. Lot 37 is going to be our Sith TIE Fighter, the awesome tri-wing fighter, as most people have been calling it now, uh, because it is a triangular winged fighter. Um, this lot is a 470-piece set. Comes with, are you ready for this? A pilot, and guess what? Another Knight of Ren! And then you get Finn with his new outfit that he was rocking over in Rise of Skywalker. Um, so it's the first time you get him in that outfit as well. This is a really cool, awesome TIE fighter, and this one does come with the um, the new um, two by three um, corner wedges. Is that correct, Dave? Two by threes, I believe I see them right there in the red and yeah, black. Yeah, these right here, right on the corner here. Yep. Whatever happened to your pointer? What happened to your, your David has a cool pointer. Oh, it's right over here. David has an awesome little pointer he made right there. Ding. There it is. There. So it's got quite a few of them on both sides. So you get a lot of really cool new pieces in this lot. Um, of course, this is set number 75272. This is the Sith TIE Fighter from the Rise of Skywalker. 
All right, and just to let you guys know, I've got two more of these ships here before we get into our um, Star Wars minifigs. So there are only two more that are left after this one here, and then we go to our Star Wars minifig lots. Um, so this is lot number 37 for $70. This is the TIE Fighter. It comes with those three figures. Of course, it's a nice other way to get one of the Knights of Ren. Um, if you already have some at home, it is part of the collection of, I think there was a five. For some reason, I'm thinking six Knights. Can't remember. Um, it's not something I need to double check again. Um, but this is going to be five or six of the Knights of Ren, but this one gives you one more of those as well. Dave, can you flip that box around real quick so you can check the back? All right. So it does come with an awesome stand um, as well as the pilot there. Um, let me zoom in here real quick for you. So he's got his little blaster, a little red windscreen, which is the first one of the first times you get one of the red windscreens besides the original TIE Fighters. And then it does have these spring-loaded um, shooters hidden in between the wedge wings here um, on both sides. And then you can get a better view of the It's a really cool build. Triangle wing. And what's awesome, too, is like the stand, it perfectly balances on there. So it's just, it was really fun to have here and mess around with. Yeah. All right, so that's lot number 37 for the Sith TIE Fighter. All right, that's going to bring us up to lot number 38 coming up here. Like I said, I've got two more ships for you, and then we're going to move into the uh, the figures here. I'm just going to try to preload them here already for you guys. Well, I got some loud motorcycles driving by. I apologize if you guys can hear that in my microphone. All right, so next up is going to be lot number 38. i got to zoom out a little bit. This is a tall box. Just barely fits in there. You're good. All right. So this is going to be lot number 38. Kylo Ren shuttle. Dun, dun, dun. This is the new all-black shuttle like it was meant to be. Um, with 1,005 pieces. Comes with a slew of minifigures. Check this out. You get six minifigs with this one. Um, of course, you get Kylo Ren, you get General Pryor, which is the one who ends up um, axing off, um, uh, no, I can't remember his name, the other guy. <laughs> it's so bad right now, the my traitor. mind's melting. What, the traitor, yeah, we'll just call him the traitor. Um, it, you do get one of the Sith Troopers included in with us, um, a First Order Stormtrooper, and two of your Knights of Ren um, as well. So if you guys do not have these, it is an awesome way to get so it. That's what... Three and four? Yeah, so we've already had four of them shown right now. So you get two of this one, you get one with the, the last one, and then one with the one before that. Hopefully towards fall or winter, we have their ship and the last two. Yeah. And then, Dave, you want to go ahead and flip that one around real quick? And it looks like Mr. Kurt Welker is claiming lot number 38, this Kylo, Kylo Ren shuttle here for 100 bucks. So congratulations to Kurt Welker. You're getting some Knights of Ren. Um, one of the other cool features about this one I just want to show off real quick is that the wings do fold down. And then, of course, on the left-hand side there, you can see that they also fold out. Um, and it does that entire action with that little wing, uh, little screw nut on the bottom left there. Yeah, this and one uh, definitely was the better version. Uh, for those of you who don't know, when they built the first one, um, because of how the film was, they couldn't really tell how that ship was going to be um, just because a lot of stuff was kept under wraps. Yep. So uh, when it came out, a lot of people complained like the wings are supposed to fold over, et cetera. So. <laughs> hey, hey. All right. So congratulations to Kurt. So of course that means we have one left Star Wars uh, ship for you or set rather. Um, this is the biggest one of the entire series that was released. Um, so of course, you know, you should know what it is because it is the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. Of course, we are talking about the Millennium Falcon. The what? <laughs> Spaceship! <laughs> wrong, wrong episode. Um, so this whopping set comes in at 1,351 pieces. Comes with those awesome spring-loaded red missiles, top and bottom turrets, and a slew of minifigs as well. This one comes with seven minifigures. Um, of course, you get lovely Lando Calrissian, Chewbacca, C-3PO, Finn, Bulio, which you only get to see for about 10 seconds in the movie, um, R2-D2, and Dio. 
So this is the largest of the lots for the series here. This is lot number 39, the Millennium Falcon. Could be yours for 130 bucks, which is 40 or I think it's $40 off right now. Uh, I believe it's $170, or $179. I can't remember right now at, at Lego. Um, so really awesome set. 5257. I'm going to try to see if we can find that one. Dave, you want to turn that one around real quick? Sure. We'll tight fit. Yes, that one is $160 right now online. So you're getting it for $30 off, which is over 20% off, man. And look at all these play features. This is crazy. Um, Dave, there's also something unique about this Millennium Falcon. You want to tell them what it is? Yeah, this is the first Millennium Falcon where they finally have four flaps opening to look on the inside of the Millennium Falcon instead of all those separate ones. Uh, why it took them so long to figure that out, I have no idea. Um, again, topic for another day. So this is your, your top view here. So what he's talking about is that all the other Millennium Falcons that came before this had about nine or ten different panels on the top that had to be individually opened um, to access the inside, inside compartments. They finally put each corner on a hinge um, that will open up the entire corner now, which not only makes it easier to open, but also makes um, the gaps and everything on the roof disappear finally. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely a lot better layout. And, of course, they, they went with a little updated look for the beds and the couch as well. Yeah, I mean, honestly, they could have done this five sets ago. but They could have. And I think the part is, is just as old. It's not a new yeah, part. Yeah, well, it's uh, the, what they're using is a four-by-six plate, but um, there's two bars at the end. There's a trap door piece, and, and they're building over it and linking it together. So it's a really good concept, and this is stuff that other fans have talked about for a long time. Doing is one of the ideas. It, right. It's a great, great we've style. Got, the we've got Don style. Marta confirmed. He's claiming lot number 39, the Millennium Falcon, at 130 bucks. Oh, well, all right. Congratulations. So congratulations, Don. All right. So that's, that's most of our Star Wars sets. Um, just so you guys know, for the Star Wars sets... Um, we still do have the Sith TIE Fighter, which is lot number 37 for $70 still available. We also have lot number 33, Anakin's 25th Anniversary uh, Pond Racer still available. And we still have the lot number 32, uh, Resistance A-Wing still available at $25. Um, so we can go back and let you guys know. If you are looking for a set or a set number, make sure you guys let us know um, which one you're looking for. We can definitely pull that lot back up for you. Um, but now, of course, brings us up into our Star Wars minifigures. Everybody's been asking about minifigures. Um, Darren writes on here, hi, Dave and Ryan. Miss coming in. We miss you too, Darren. We, we, we have a lot of fun with you guys. And Darren, I don't know if uh, – is Darren, Darren's part of Unilog, right? Right. So, Darren, make sure if you, get, if you haven't been on the Unilog uh, emails and stuff, make sure you guys check those out. You guys have a show coming up. We'd love to have you part of that as well. We want to make sure we guys get everybody included in that too. So um, be on the lookout for that. Um, so this one here, I'm going to have to zoom in because we're going from the largest Lego set from the series all the way down to some minifigures. Uh, so there we go. All right. So next up is going to be the first lot of our minifigs. This is going to be lot number 40, our Scout Troopers. So these are the old school Scout Troopers. Uh, as you can see, Dave, there's the second one on the left. You want to show him what, their, what his head looks like? Just pop his helmet off. Yeah, this is the original Scout Trooper, so you pop the head up. Oh, God! Oh, no, his whole head came off. Let me try it again. Hold on. This the older things have a little little fatter head. So one of them has a black head, and the other one has a yellow head with the visor print on it. So it's like the first and second version, I guess you could say. Um, it's it's a really cool figure. I used to have these as a kid, too. Especially yeah, I think, I think if I remember head. right, the three in the back are all the second gen. The one in the front is the first gen. Um, and you can mostly tell that because the first one has the little um, glare in the, the visors, which is a really cool one. Um, and it looks like, wow, um, we got two other claims here. Um, we've got John, who is claiming lot 40. So he's claiming these scout troopers, as you were seeing here. I just put them out. So oh, congratulations yeah. to John for your um, scout troopers here. That was our quickest claim. And we've got Rob, who is also claiming Lot 37, the Sith TIE Fighter. So, so congratulations on those. So these go with his TIE Fighter? 
Uh, Rob has the Y-Wing, the Sith TIE Fighter so far. Yep. Awesome. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. Um, uh, all right. So next one up is going to flip sides over to the good guys. Um, this is going to be our lot number 41, our Rebel Troopers lot. Dave, why don't you tell them about these guys? Yes. There's not really a whole lot to say because they're just kind of random guys. But <laughs> No, I mean, uh, two of them have jetpacks, so I'll turn it around to show off. So you got two flyers and two land troopers. Um, these are not all from the same set. Two of them are the jetpacks from a battle pack, and then I think the darker brown one came in a bigger set. So it's just a nice variety of rebels. You guys want to make some battle scenes and such, and you know, the jetpacks are really cool because the studs are on the bottom. You could put a whole bunch of more on there and have them really high up off your base plate or scene that you're building. Oh, I've got one here, too. John is reminding me. Thank you very much, John. Let me double check here real quick. Give me one second as you set that next one up there, Dave. Yeah. So we are. All right, so that is the Rebel Troopers, lot number 41. Oh, there we go. All right, so Jeffrey John also claims lot number 32. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. That is the Resistance A-Wing. Awesome. A lot of the same people behind the Star Wars sets. We know who the Star Wars fans are. Rock on. Great. They've been so here thank you all for the this reminder. time, and now they're almost gone. gone so. um, lot number one, John is also picking up for lot number 41. So we've got Jeffrey John claiming lot number 32, and we've got John Dickout uh, claiming lot number 41. All right. So that brings us up to lot number 42, Corrente Dos. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. This is our lot number 42, the Bounty Hunters. Who do we have over there, Dave? Do you know all these guys? Um. No, 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 I know come on. Two of them. One of them is Bosk, yep. which is the green and yellow looking yep. one. And then uh, I know the white one. I'm blanking on the name. <laughs> the white one is Dengar. Dengar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the bug looking one is, but I do know the one on the end is a pirate who works for Yano. Yes, on the, the far side, yes. The far, far, left, far left side far right, is one of them. Depending on how you're looking at this. Hondo Anakova's guys there. Um, and then... Disappointingly, he only comes in one set. The other one on the right-hand side is Forlom. Forlom. For who? Uh, Rich is claiming a lot of 42 already. Wow, he's, he's off of them. So Rich Bynum is, cl is claiming lot number 42 for $24, which is the Bounty Hunters. Cool. Another one. All right. So next one is going to be a little more mythical, a little bit more magical. Is it They're not talking about the magical, mystical Mustafalis from Cats. We are, of course, talking about our lovely Jedi Knights. This is lot number 43 for 25 bucks. You get Luminar. No, that's not Luminar. It's that's, um, uh... I don't know, brain fart. Uh, Bear Safi, thank you. Uh, Bear Safi, you've got Obi Wan Kenobi and Kiari Mundi. Um, so these three awesome Jedi here can be yours for $25. These figs are usually uh, anywhere between $12 and $15 a piece. I believe Kiari Mundi is $10. Um, so you're looking at about $37 worth of figures for $25. Bucks. Honestly, we should have given Barris a red saber, but well, yeah, we could have done that. Um, <laughs> Darren says, good selections. Unfortunately, I have almost all of them already. Yes, Darren, we, we know you. We got you. Um, and then looks like John is claiming lot number 43. John is after all the, right. John is after the figs today. John and, uh, John and Rich are after all the, uh, the figures. All right, they can take them all they want. We got more. You want more? We can all right. sell you more. So next one up then. Thank you very much, John is going to uh, play for the same side, but be a little bit more creative with how they do it. And I, I guess we, we probably need to equip some weapons on these guys. So we'll include some weapons with these guys too. Um, one real quick. 
Uh, <laughs> Rich was just a little too late. Almost same time, though. All right. Next one up is going to be our Scoundrels lot. So, of course, we've got old school Chewbacca. We've got Han Solo and the disguised Lando Calrissian here. This is lot number 44, the Star Wars Scoundrels, for $20 even. Um, we will include a little short blaster for Han and an axe for Lando. I don't know where they went, but we will add those on there for free as well, so don't worry about those. Uh, looks like Kurt is not wasting any time. He is on that one. Kurt is all over it. So Kurt Welker is confirmed to get lot number 44, The Scoundrels, for 20 bucks. Awesome. Thank you very much, Kurt. All right, we've got two more lots for you guys. I'm not going to lie. This next one is probably the best one. Um, maybe should we switch them around, do you think? You want to flip-flop them? I think the last one we should wait on. All right, we're going we're gonna to do a little quick flip here. Let me just edit this. So this is that, and you don't have to worry about the sign. Don't worry about it. I got it here. All right, so we're going to change this up on you guys a little bit. I think the last one is probably the better one. Um, let me zoom out here. Okay, so this one here is going to be lot number 45. This is our Jawas and Droids lot. So these guys here, the Jawas are normally valued at $10 a piece. The droids are $12 and $15. And of course, you've got C3PO in the middle at seven. Um, so it ends up being around $51 or $58 uh, for the lot. Um, so you get these Jawas and Droids here for 45 bucks. Um, so we have, we do have this. Wow. A lot of people wanted lot 44. Kurt was on that one. Holy cow. So congratulations to Kurt. Um, so this one's lot 45 Jawas and droids. This five piece lot is at 45 bucks. Comes with two Jawas, two Astromex and C3PO. Of course, you know, the other blue one there. It's just a little one. Um, I tried to find the little red one, um, with the, the cone head on it to, to throw in. Cause it was like, what is it? Red five or red four, um, to try to get on there. Red, whatever. Um, red looks red. like Will Will Vastish for the the first time claims lot forty five. So Will, congratulations! I know you were you were after lot forty four as well. All right, so here's going to be the kicker for you. This is going to be lot number forty six. This is our last lot of the night. Forty five. Forty. Oh, sorry. Uh, forty six. My bad. I forgot. I had to switch the numbers around. Yeah, don't worry about the sign. Take the sign off. What? I'm so confused. Yep, we don't need the sign. I can't even see it anyway. All right. So this is going to be lot number okay. 46, <laughs> our last lot of the night. This is going to be da, 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 the Emperor and Guards for $55. So, of course, you have Emperor Palpatine, fours of Imperial Guards, and R2Q5. We threw him in there as an add-on because who doesn't need a droid? Um, this is one of the coolest little droids ever. Um, and these are the more expensive uh, Imperial Guards with the dark red capes as opposed to the light red capes. Um, nice, awesome lot of six figures for $55. This one normally retails well over $78 for all these figs here. Um, so this is lot number 46. Lot number 46 looks like John. John got it by about three seconds. Um, is claiming lot number 46. Rich was right behind him. It was almost as close as lot number 44. Lot number 44, tw uh, four people wanted. It was nuts. Well, we can make more. So congratulations to John to get our last lot of the night, which is lot number 46. All right. Yeah. As that is gone. Now, is there any other lots that anybody is looking out for? It looks like we still have our lot number 33 still available. Um, which is Anakin's 25th anniversary pod racer. That one is $25. So is lot number 33 for $25 is still available. Um, if we're going back through the rest of the Star Wars, we also have the Chirrut, Imway, and Baze Malbus buildable figures, uh, which is lot number $28 for, uh, lot, sorry, lot number 28 for $20. Um, and then we have a slew of other lots still available. Uh, everybody was holding out to Star Wars, so... Um, I'm going to kind of run through them again here with our little banners just so you guys can see what was what and still available. Um, lot number one was our Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock for $35, our custom figs. Next up is lot number two, which was our Power Ranger lot of seven figures, normally valued at $100. Those are marked down at 80. 
We've got our custom Rick and Morty at $35, which is lot number three. Our Defenders lot number four for $60, which was Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Daredevil. We've got lot number five, which was our custom Tron figures. Lot number six, which was our entire lot of Ninjago CMF series with a display case. So that was 20 minifigures in the case for 100 bucks. Then we had lot number seven, which was our Powerpuff Girls, um, Blossom, Buttercup, and Bubbles um, for $18. Then we had our Classic Space Figs, which was our yellow, white, black, and red Classic Space Figs, all in great condition. Um, those guys are normally $9 a piece, so it'd be 36 bucks. was marked down to 28 So that's lot number 28 for 20, or eight, lot number eight for 28 Sorry. Then we had our lot number nine, which is our two Velociraptors and Dilophosaurus. Um, those are lot number nine for $38. Then we had our T-Rex dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex, normally valued at $50, was marked down to $35. So we have T-Rex, lot number 10 for $35. Then we went on to lot number 11, which was Indominus Rex, normally valued at anywhere between $120 to $140. Uh, we had him on here for $80 by himself. Then we had lot number 12, which was the Simpsons family, which was Marge, Maggie, Homer, uh, Lisa, and Bart, with, of course, their cat, and uh, skateboard uh, for Bart. Then we had lot number 13, which the Avengers figures, which was Captain America, Black Widow, and um, where did they go? Mm, the Avenger figures. Uh, oh, and Iron Man. Yep, okay. Actually, Chris, you could even grab them and put them on the camera if you want. So that way you can see which ones they were. Uh, next up after that was lot number 14, which was the Spider-Man figures. Um, so this was Spider-Man, Venom, and Iron um, Iron Spider. Do, 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 do. So these guys here are uh, twenty-five dollars for the three. All right. Uh, next one up after that is going to be our DC superheroes lot number one, which was going to be uh, Killer Frost, Katana, and Trickster. So this is lot number fifteen. See if it'll refocus here a little bit. Okay. Next up was another DC Superheroes lot, which is lot number 16. We've got Batman, Superman, Lex, and Joker. These guys are $28 as well. Okay. Then we had our two water animals, um, which was our... i got to flip this over. Lot 17 and 18, both for $22 each. Um, if you want to see, yep. So we had lot 17, which is going to be our um, set of um, newer shark, crocodile, and black octopus. That's lot 17. Then we moved on to lot 18, which is the same thing, but with a red octopus. Ooh. Okay, that's lot number 18. Uh, next one up is going to be lot number 19, which was Shredder and the Foot Soldiers. This is the five-figure lot. Okay. Um, Don is asking what the best way to pay is. The best way to pay is over the phone is the only way to pay. Um, you can call us. Actually, I should put it, make a banner for that one, too, here. Yes, you can call us at 815-582-422-0. Make sure you have your credit card ready. We will take payment over the phone. Um, and then you have uh, until Tuesday at 5 o'clock to make your payment. And then you have until Saturday to pick it up. Um, we are here in the store between noon and five every single day. Um, if you do need to make accommodations outside of that, please just give us a call, leave us a message here on our voicemail or send us a Facebook message. Um, and we'll make accommodations for you to make sure you guys can pick up and pay for your sets. 
Um, Darren, we have been doing this every Saturday so far. <laughs> so we've been trying. Um, yeah, once a week. We started on Friday, we moved it to Saturday. Um, so next one up, it's going to be a little hard to start displaying these, so we're just going to have to tell you about these. Um, next one up is going to be our lot number 20, which was still unclaimed. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Which was the big big rig snow getaway, which was the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Tur Ninja Turtle set. Um, Chris, we do offer shipping, uh, but it's usually only within uh, about 10 or 15 miles as we do ship it ourselves. If you are further away from that, we need to make special accommodations to find out what the shipping cost is going to be. But we do do daily um, deliveries um, within about 10 or 15 miles every day, um, usually either before 2 o'clock or after 5, depending on what we're doing. Because we do um, do daily live streams every single day between 3.30 and 4.30. Um, we also have some other streaming um, stuff coming up as well. We're going to be doing our um, our, uh, our Battle of the Brains. We've got, we're on day 19 right now. We've got tomorrow, which is 20, and, and Monday, which is day 21. Our final day, which is Motion. Um, we've also got um, our um, Mox in Motion episode number four. We've been doing that. It's another stream of ours um, where Joe Dorsey from Unilog and Dave, our manager here, um, we'll go over a lot of technic parts and sets um, to teach you how to build uh, different mechanical devices um, to, imp to in uh, improve your builds and help out with that. Um, and then that Tuesday class is going to be mostly a Q&A to help everybody that's been part of our Battle of the Brains competition. And just as a reminder as well, the boys are up three or 10 to 7 right now. Um, and then as soon as the stream is over, we're going to have those available to be voted on, on Facebook and our Instagram channel. And then starting May 11th, we're doing a brand new stream as well called uh, Meet the Bam Fam. Um, we're going to be doing a single day for every individual here at the store. We've got uh, Andrew, Riley, Becca, David, and myself um, that are going to be um, essentially interviewed by each other um, through that week. So you guys get to know more, more about us that way and can ask questions as well. So get creative with that. Um, and then we also have another one that Dave is coming up with as well, where um, he gets to rant and rave about all sorts of things about brick. So um, that's going to be another cool stream we've got coming up. But we do have a lot of streams coming up. Um, and we are also available on YouTube as well at Bricks and Minifigs of Crest Hill. Um, you can find us on there and watch us anytime. We do have playlists for all of our streams that we've been doing, uh, our Alpha Brick builds, our Battle of the Brains, our uh, Mox Motion, and, um, of course, our Cyber Fun Days. So you can check all three, all four of them now because today is the fourth night. Um, so we've been doing those pretty well. Um, so back to our thing here. Um, lot number 21 is the next one that was still available. That was uh, the only elf set that we had. That was Nada's Epic Adventure Ship. It was a used set um, for $30. And then it brought us on to our friend sets, uh, which was lot number 22, the Adventure Camp Rafting set, which was just missing the pink raft. Um, that one was available at $24. Then we had our Amusement Park Hot Dog Van, which was lot number 23 at $25. I think that was complete, right? It was used but complete. So it's basically certified. We just didn't get a chance to really officially certify it yet. Um Next up, we had the only Wizarding World Harry Potter sets we had available, which was um, Aragog's Lair and Grimwald's Escape, which well, I don't know why it says Glimwald. It's funny. <laughs> Let me fix that real quick. Grimwald. Thank you. Wow, uh, that happened. Nobody corrected me. Uh, Grimwald's Escape. Uh, that combination was $40 for the two of those. Next up, we had lot number 25, which was set number 8897, the Jagged Jaws Reef set from World Racers. That is a brand new in-box set, never opened. Um, then we had the Eclipse of Dark Palace, which was claimed by Jeffrey. Then we had our lot number 27, the Ice Tank uh, from Ninjago at $100. That was the last of our regular sets. Then we moved into Star Wars with the Chirrut Imway and Bayes Malbus buildable figures, normally valued at $30, was marked down to $20. All right, Rob is going at $24, the Harry Potters. Okay. Congratulations, Rob. I do have you in for lot number 24. Okay. Okay. Um, so that was back at 
sorry about that. 27, 27, 27, 27. That was the ice tank for $100 for the Ninjago sets. Oh, and the Churro Dream Ray. Sorry, Churro Dream Ray was the last one. So that was lot number 28. Um, next few were all taken. So we had lot number 29 claimed by Rich. Lot number 30 claimed by Don. Lot number 31 claimed by Rich. Lot number 32 claimed by Jeffrey. Lot number 33 is our next one and our last one that is currently available. That is Anakin's 25th anniversary pod racer for $25. I believe it retails at 30 or 35. Um, that is the last and only one of our Star Wars sets that's still currently available. Um, after that, we had lot number 34, the Pisana Speeder Chase uh, claimed by Kurt. Uh, we had the Resistance Y Wing claimed by Rob. Poe Dameron's X Wing claimed by Rich. The Sith TIE Fighter claimed by Rob. Kylo Ren Shuttle claimed by Kurt. The Millennium Falcon claimed by Don. The Scout Trooper Minifig Lot claimed by John. Rebel Troopers claimed by John. The Bounty Hunters claimed by Rich. Uh, Jedi Knights claimed by John. The um, Rebel Scoundrels, which was, uh, um, what do you call it? Chewbacca, Han Solo, and Lando claimed by Kurt. I've got the Emperor and his guards with R2Q5 claimed by Will, which was lot number 46. And lot number 45, the Jawas and Droids, was claimed by John. So lot number 33 is the only Star Wars lot of the night that has not been claimed, along with Truett Imwe and Baze Malbus, the buildable figs. And then we have all sorts of other regular minifig lots still available. So we brought you guys a lot of minifigs. I mean, that was the biggest thing is everybody's like, where's the minifigs? Where's the minifigs? We brought you a lot of minifigs. Um, last week we brought you guys some uh, build sets with um, some of the plates and some bulk. Um, we're going to be doing that on our next one as well. It's been a big thing. Um, so we're going to try to get some other packages together now that we got a lot of other minifigs um, put into place. And then um, also keep in mind that we do have our website that is still also currently available. Um, let me just pull it up here. And share this. Da, da, da. So this is our new website that's been up for a little while here as well. Um, so be sure you guys get a, a look at that. Um, it is all up and doing. And of course, we do have our base plates that are going to be added here um, shortly as well. We've got plenty of new unbox sets on here, including a lot of our new Star Wars sets, as you can see, if you're looking for those May the 4th sets. Many of these are still available. I will say we only have one deal left. The Stormtrooper and Boba Fett helmets are currently sold out, but will be available again on Friday. And then, of course, we do still have the Luke's Lance Speeder, TIE Fighter, X-Wings, and stuff uh, currently new in box. Um, I do believe we are also out of the Mandalorian Battle Packs right now, but those may or may not be here Friday. I know that some of them got canceled. Um, and then we do have some of the other sets as seen here, including the ATST Raider, if you're looking for Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. All right. So, yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff that's uh, that's still available. If you guys uh, get a chance to watch this again or go through it, or if you decide or watch it the first time tomorrow, um, as we do get a lot of views after we're done with this, you can absolutely still email us um, and let us know or send us a Facebook message directly um, if you want to claim one of the lots that did not get claimed yet. Um, be sure, though, not to comment in this stream um, because typically we will not see it if it's attached to this one. So don't comment in here. Make sure you send us a direct message and say, hey, is you know, lot number 12 still available? Um, and we'll say yes. And then you can just say, hey, I want to claim that. And it's totally cool. Um, so you guys can take advantage of all these uh, sale prices and everything until Tuesday night at 5. Um, after that, everything goes back to regular price and goes back onto the shelf, and they're done. Um, and at that point, everything's going to be regular price. Um, if you are still looking for any of those other Star Wars things going on at all, we do have a, a huge assortment of minifigures. I will say, um, in case you are wondering, we do not have any Stormtroopers. We're sold out. We do not have any Clone Troopers. We're sold out. Um, I do have some more First Order Troopers still available. I've got um, lots of astromech droids if you're looking for R2s, uh, R2Q5s, R4, uh, R4D3. I can't remember what it is. Um, we've got a handful of Chewies left. I've got like six Emperors left. Um, we've got a few Rays left. What's that? Uh, I might have a few Yodas left. I know I sold most of those to Jessica. Um, which reminds me, if you guys want a really cool, um, a really cool May 4th gift, I don't know how fast she's um, sending them out right now. 
Um, but we are partnered with uh, Jessica Reggs Ewood from Lego Masters. Um, she is selling a bunch of bows um, on her website uh, that we helped her out with as well. And you can find those there. I'm going to go ahead and share this with you too because you want to check this out. Boom. So you can check these guys out here. She's got ties galore. She's got Yoda ties, R2D2 ties. She's got uh, BB-8 ties, Vader ties, C-3PO ties, all sorts of different stuff um, on here. Um, Star Wars related, if you're looking for um, the gentlemen or the ladies, there are bow ties and regular hair bows, as you can see here. Um, funny enough, we were able to help her out and source her with some of these minifigs um, to, to get those. So she's been, we've been helping her out and partnering with her to get those in. And of course, if you're just looking for one of those regular bows, um, that she's always so famous for. Um, we have those here right in the store. Ba boom. Um, they do come in an assortment of colors, shapes, and sizes as well. Um, we were even rocking a couple of them on some of our other live stream events that we've done here. Um, and it's been pretty fun. And you can find those available on our web store as well as everything else. Uh, let me see here. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. So you have them in different colors. You have the hot pink, the lavender, and of course the new dark purple. And then when you click on those, you do get to pick which word you want it, whether you want dream, hope, or love. They do all come on, on different letters. As you can see, we're out of stock of the love and lavenders. Um, and there are photos of all the different ones here for all the different colors as well. So you guys can check those out. So um, be, be aware that, you know, even though Lego Masters, uh, I know a lot of them are really, really upset that all this whole, whole COVID thing happened. And they can't really get out there and share a lot of things with you. But the, a lot of them are still streaming. Um, Jessica does daily streams on her um, her Instagram page. Boone's been doing um, weekly streams on his Boone Builds YouTube channel over on Thursday nights especially. Um, he's been interviewing a lot of people, a lot of other AFALs and stuff. Um, some of them join us here live on our streams as well. So if you check out any of our streams during the day, um, sometimes they just pop in. Uh, we've had Boone on. We've had Jessica on. We did a Celebrity AFAL edition one where we had... Um, Manny, we had Jermaine, we had Jessica, we had Sam. Um, I'm trying to remember who else. Boone, and then uh, there's, I feel like I'm missing someone else. Jeff. Oh, Jeff and and Jake, Jake Sedovich, Jake Sedovich, the designer of the ship and bottle set, um, also joined us for those as well. So, um, how many of her bows does she sold? She sells out of her bows pretty quick. Um, so if you get a chance to take a look at them, I know uh, she's supposed to be sending me one. Um, as a, as a thank you, but it does look like some of her R2-D2 bows um, and C-3P bows and stuff like that are still available. I do believe her Mandalorian bows are sold out right now. Um, I would have to check with her. I do talk to her almost every other day uh, on our phones. Um, she's been doing a pretty good job with all these Star Wars ones, and she's been trying really, really, really hard to get them out to you guys for May 4th. So um, if you guys could take advantage, try to get over to her site um, tonight, preferably because you want to get them shipped in time, um, and check out some of her bows on, her, on their um, and get them paid for as soon as possible. Um, the greatest part about her Star Wars bows, too, is a lot of the figures are removable from the bows and the bow ties. Um, so not only is it a cool little fashion statement, but you can play with it, too. So you can kind of change it out and have some fun with it. Um, they've been a great job, and it's been a great partnership uh, between the two of us. We're really happy to have her bows here in the store. Um, Dave even rocked me, watched me rock a purple dream bow for, for a whole hour and a half. Um, and, uh, and the nice thing about these two is they're all interchangeable as well. So if you get different words, um, we had somebody that actually ordered like a pink love bow, a lavender hope bow, and a purple dream bow. Um, all of these words are on clips that actually come out. Um, so you can have just the regular bow, which is a nice fabric backed bow, by the way. Um, so with just a little hair clip there so it won't get caught in your hair. Um, and of course, you can clip them on a shirt too if you really wanted to. And uh, she's been doing a great job with these. They're really good quality bows. Um, and like we said, we have all these regular bows here. And then if you're looking for those Star Wars ones, Jessica's got them all set up on her website at ragsleyart.com. Um, so make sure you guys check those out. Any flash slots? I missed the majority of the stream. Garamo, nothing nothing really flashy at all. Uh, but you can always go back as soon as this is over and just rewind it. Um, this will, of course, be available on our YouTube channel under our um, Cyber Fun Day um, playlist, um, as well as the other three before this. And then uh, if you're on Facebook, you should be able to just rewind it, I believe, yeah. and go back. Um, so um, congratulations to everybody who won. Thank you guys for supporting us um, so much in, in these last five weeks that we've been doing this stuff. 
Um, and if you guys get a chance, make sure you guys check out our daily streams. Uh, we've been doing a lot of different challenges, um, and it's not too late to join the Battle of the Brains contest if you want to get on that. It is the boys versus the girls. The boys are winning right now 10 to 7, and the winner gets a huge discount for an entire weekend only for your gender. So if the boys win, the boys get it. If the girls win, the girls get it. So um, it can go either way right now. The girls have been winning except for the last two days, and then the boys kind of took over. So. Yeah, they got an automatic win because the girls didn't submit anything. So it's like, well, the boys win. Uh, but make sure you guys check that out. Um, and if you guys get a chance to, make sure you guys uh, hop onto our YouTube channel over at Bricks and Minifigs uh, of Crest Hill. We're the only Bricks and Minifigs store to have a dedicated YouTube channel right now. Um, and we are looking to try to get a 1,000 followers on there um, so that we can help you guys out. Uh, we want to be able to go live over at Brick World Chicago when it does happen in the future because it did get canceled or delayed. Um, and we want to get 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers, sorry. Um, so we need a thousand subs before we can go live uh, on a mobile device, and we want to try to join the guys, uh, you know, Josh and John over at uh, Beyond the Brick, and kind of do a whole little tour around Brick World when it happens. Um, we've also been working really closely with Mark Larson over at Brick World as well to try to help him out with some of these uh, virtual cons they've got going on. Um, if you did sign up for those um, sixty-five dollar five-day passes or, or seven-day passes, whatever you want to call them. Um, you do have access to all of the virtual cons they have coming up, and I believe the first one is in in like a week. I think they're doing one like May 8th or something like that. Um, uh, is it the 16th? So May 16th. Um, no, I got an email. I got an email. I thought it was uh, like this morning. Um, so be on the lookout for that as well. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff coming out. And of course, we do talk about all those events during our daily streams um, and some of the news going on with Lego, some of the new releases and stuff like that as much as we can. Um, but there's a lot of really cool stuff coming out uh, June 1st, July 1st, August 1st, and September 1st so far. Um, we're looking forward to a lot of it. We're hoping we can start sharing some of that with you as, as stuff comes out. Um, but then, of course, make sure you guys join us, um, especially for our Meet the Bam Fam um, week coming up here on May 11th through the 15th. Um, you can hang out with each one of us individually, ask whatever questions you think you might want to ask, um, whether it's something that we do here at the store, um, how we are here at the store, um, stuff we do at home, stuff about school or our outside life or whatever. Um, we're we're going to have some fun with it. So we hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys can uh, come up with some good questions to ask us. Um, we want it to, to be fun and, and, and creative and, and, you know, make sure you guys keep your um, questions appropriate. It is G rated or PG rated rather. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we're staying, you know, under the radar. We don't want to upset anybody or any parents at home. Um, but we do unfortunately have to keep all of our streams set for not for kids on YouTube or else we can't have any conversations with you. Um, because all of the Safe for Kids um, channels and videos out there do not allow any comments whatsoever. Um, so we, we do want to make sure that you guys are, are watching your kids if they do join uh, on here. Um, we do really try to keep it very, very, very safe for all the kids at home. We are very family-oriented. Um, we have a lot of people that are disappointed about Brick World, I know, but they're doing a lot of things really hard, really, you know, trying really hard to get things going. And uh, Mark... Brian and Kathy are wonderful people that have been working really hard to give us um, as much of this information as we can. And, uh, you know, luckily they've, they've allowed all the, the registrants to be able to, to view all four of the virtual cons for free, which is unheard of. Um, and then, of course, you still get your ticket for next year as long as you don't demand a refund. Um, I will also put it out there that if you did uh, happen to book a room for Brickworld to make sure you call and cancel that room, um, you will get charged for it um, very soon. You have like three or four more days at most left. But they, well, they said April 30th, but then I think they're going to push it a week um, because of all this. So um, make sure you guys cancel your rooms if you haven't yet. And if you have any problems at all, please contact Brickworld. They will do their best to make sure that you get your money back uh, for that. And uh, I would just put it away for a little while so that the next Brook World Convention that comes up at the Renaissance that we could just use that money and apply it to it. Um, and if you already are attendee, I would say hold on to your ticket if possible. If you demand a refund uh, from Brick World, it will take possibly up to a year to get your money back um, because they spent all that money on, on holding the venues. Um, and uh, at that point, it's going to be Brick World time again, and the prices are only going to go up. So if you reserved it this year, you get in for free next year, um, plus you get the four virtual cons as well. So a um, lot of things happening. Make sure you guys check out Jessica's, uh, Jessica Ragsy's website, ragsyart.com. You know, maybe you guys like some of our art pieces. She's got some really nice, um, I didn't even think about that. She's got some really nice art pieces on there as well. Um, if you're looking for Star Wars stuff, 
Uh, let me see here. If I go back to her geode hearts over here, she has Star Wars themed geode hearts. So you got these cool little R2, D2, BB-8 geode hearts here as well if you want some actual art piece. Um, if I open up this one here, you can see it actually has Lego pieces inside the actual geode. So there's definitely some cool little art pieces that she's been doing. It's mixed media art. Um, so make sure you guys take a look at that. Um, I'm sure she'll appreciate it, and you know we'll throw her throw her a line just to let her know that we 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 kind of plugged her her side a little bit here. So she'll see if she gets a little increase of of business and stuff too. So um, a lot of really cool stuff she's been putting out, and she's been helping us out. Of course, like we said, we have her bows here as well. Her little pink love bows, purple bows, and lavender bows here. Um, and uh, we have some of the people who are watching that have already bought some. So thank you to those who have already purchased some. Um, but yeah, so keep an eye on that. We, we're going to be adding more stuff. we got our base plates that we're going to be adding onto our website soon. Um, please watch the stream again if you missed some stuff at the beginning so you guys can possibly still claim some of those unclaimed lots, um, especially a lot of those custom figs and uh, dinosaurs. We have a ton of them still uh, available here. It uh, looks like everybody was mostly out here for Star Wars stuff. And we got Kurt on here and says, Medicine loves the bows. Yes, I think Madison has at least three or four. I think I think the Welker family has at least four or five of the bows now. Um, they were just telling us earlier that they also picked up one of the um, uh, Mandalorian bows as well. They were one of the few people that actually got one. Those sold out really quick. So, yeah. Uh, so make sure you guys check those out. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, you can always message us at, uh, on Facebook. Send us an email at crestill at bricksandminifigs.com or just join us for our streams. We're, we're, we're live daily at 3.30 um, for our Battle of the Brains uh, build. We're going to be on there until Friday. Um, and of course, uh, come May 4th on Monday, the brand new and last episode of Star Wars Clone Wars uh, is going to air on Disney Plus if you have that at home. Um, and then we'll be talking about that a little bit during our stream on Monday. And then if you are personal friends with me, uh, I am going to be um, posting a link to my buddy's stream. We'll be joining him for, uh, let's just call it an adult version, adults only version of uh, some Star Wars talk. Um, and I only say that because I don't know all the people and what kind of language they're going to be using on stream. Um, so, but if you are an adult and you do love Star Wars, please join us live um, from there on Facebook as well. It's going to be at 8.30 at night uh, until about 10.30 or 11 o'clock, depending on how the stream goes. Uh, we're going to be talking all things Star Wars. We're going to be doing trivia, a little um, uh, like lightning round questions and stuff like that. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're hoping uh, it's going to be really good for, for them and, of course, for all of you to, to chime in and, and kind of throw us, you know, throw us off a little bit or whatever. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So um a lot of you guys are stuck at home so just just check out youtube check out some of these people that are doing some streams you know support all these small businesses in the area um i'm also the president of the crystal chamber of commerce and we're going to be starting a business bingo coming up here soon um so that's going to be available as well you get to visit a lot of businesses and win some free 50 dollars gift cards um so if you are local to the area down here in crest hill um they're all crest hill businesses all you need to do is get the bingo card and get your uh, receipts uh, ready for that as well. And we'll have more information on that on our um, official um, Crest Hill Area Chamber of Commerce Facebook page and website as well. So that's CrestHillChamber.com. So I think that's pretty much it, right, Dave? Oh, I'm on the wrong camera. <laughs> you just scoot over a little bit. There we go. There we go. We'll just do this. So so Dave's been helping out a lot with all these uh, these scenes and all of our streams. Um, Dave right now is like the third host sort of of our stream. Hi, Michael. Daddy, is it okay if we play outside? If mom says it's okay, yes. Is it okay, mom? <laughs> They're going to go play outside. Um, so anyway, we will catch you guys tomorrow at 3.30 if you guys join us for Battle of the Brains. Um, and then Monday, of course, is going to be our May the 4th edition um, and final build, uh, which is going to be our motion builds. So again, if you guys are doing those motion builds at home, make sure you guys catch that out. And then our Mocks in Motion class with Dave and Joe uh, from Unilug. Um, they're going to be answering questions and, and trying to help troubleshoot some of your builds at home if you have started them. Um, if not, it's a good way to ask, hey, how do I do this? And then the guys can show you, hopefully, um, with the parts that we have here in the store. So, anything else you want to add? No, I think we're good. I don't even know if they can hear me right now. They can, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. But yeah, no, thank you very much for everybody who bought stuff from us tonight and supported us. Uh, just a little bit weird. <laughs> Talking so. to my ear. No, just kidding. Here. <laughs> we need to leave <laughs> it's been a long day 
<laughs> so yes, uh, we've been here since I've been here since about uh, 9 30, 10 o'clock this morning. Um, and I do promise that if you guys are part of our battle of the brains competition, I'm going to post those photos right now as soon as we get off. I do apologize because we did have that technical error um, where our whole screen just got like swiped over and frozen. Um, and looks like Guillermo last minute. Look at this. Guillermo's claiming one of the last sets for Star Wars, um, which is lot number 33, Anakin's anniversary pod racer. Um, thank you very much, Guillermo. He must have went through and watched it all again. He's crazy. Uh, superhero girl set um, has been claimed, yes, by Je Jeffrey. Jeffrey claimed the superhero girl set, yes. But that was an awesome, awesome set price for. I think it was like fifty-five bucks for a thousand-piece set. It was insane. So, um, but congratulations, Guillermo. The only other Star Wars set that we have left, just as a quick thing, was our Chirrut Imway and um, Baze Malbus um, buildable figures. That was the only um, Star Wars set that was not claimed yet, and that was lot number twenty-eight. That one, twenty-eight. So that's the only Star Wars set that did not claim tonight. So. A lot of Star Wars fans. I'm glad we added those sets on. And thank you again to Sarah for, for getting those to us um, and uh, getting those set up. Thank you to David and Christopher. Bink! He's over here um, for helping out with the uh, set movements and getting those all set up. And, of course, thank you for my for just putting up with me because I've been a little crazy lately. So um, thank you for everybody for watching our streams. Um, if you guys have any further questions at all, please, please, please Facebook message us. Um, if you want to claim any other sets that have not been claimed yet, also, either email us at Cresthill uh, at bricksandminifigs.com or send us a direct Facebook message. Do not claim it in here. We will not see it after we leave, so it'll be gone. Um, so Guillermo is the last one to claim lot number 33. Um, and then beyond that, we have our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets left over. We've got lots of uh, minifigs left over for our customs. We've got the Powerpuff Girls. We've got the Jurassic World Dinosaurs. We've got the small ones, the T-Rex and the Indominus Rex. We got the Simpson family. We got the DC superheroes. We got Spider-Man figures, Avengers figures, um, and of course the entire Ninjago collectible minifig series collection. So, a lot of stuff still available um, towards the beginning of the stream. So, if you check it out the first hour, um, it's going to be the best time to, to get most of that. I think. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, it's been a little over two hours on this stream. Thank you guys for joining us. We will catch you guys tomorrow. Beck and I will be here at three thirty. <coughs> Sorry. Um, at 3.30, and then uh, we'll be here for our uh, Box in Motion on Tuesday at 1.30, and then, of course, the following week after that is going to be our um, series of Meet the Bam Fam from Monday through Friday, and then uh, we'll be getting ready for Unilug's show uh, coming up here. We'll let you guys know when that happens, of course, yeah. uh, but you got to stay tuned to us either on Facebook or YouTube, preferably on YouTube to help us out, um, but make sure you guys like and share this uh, stream as well as many others and of course sub if you're on our YouTube channel. Uh, we always need them. So um, beyond that we will see you guys then. Thank you for uh, joining us uh, especially so late at night and if you guys want those sets just let us know. We'll be happy to help you guys out. Make sure you guys pay for your lots by Tuesday at 5 o'clock uh, which is our leave time essentially. Um, you can call us anytime at 815-582-4220 which I'm going to throw that up again real quick. Boom! There it is. Uh, have your credit card number ready so we can get all that information over the phone. Um, we will email you a copy of the receipt um, immediately, and then you can just come in and pick it up. Um, it is curbside pickup, so all you have to do is pull up, give us a ring, and then we'll walk it out to your car. No questions asked. You'll be all set to go. Um, all you need to do is make sure you provide your ID so we know that it's you because we want to make sure that the right people get the right sets. Um, and if you did claim a lot, also keep in mind that they do need to be picked up by Saturday, uh, which is a week from today, which will put it at the 9th um, by 5 o'clock as well. Um, any sets that are not paid for or claimed, if they're not paid for, they're going back out no matter what by Tuesday. Um, if they are paid for but not claimed by Saturday, we will start calling you and messaging you to make sure you do not forget. Um, I think that's it. No, we're good. All right. Well, um, I guess if we don't see you then beforehand, um, you know, make sure you guys are staying safe, uh, building at home, and of course, for Star Wars, may the fourth be with you. Um, and of course, you got the Revenge of the Fifth as well. So uh, we'll be having some fun with Star Wars, as you can tell. Um, so we'll catch you guys then. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you tomorrow at three thirty. All right. Bye, guys. All right. We'll see you guys then. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you then. Adios.